and all these thoughts and I'm like, no, this needs to be slowed down. First of all, you ain't even did nothing for me. You ain't even did this. No. So it ain't just that easy. I'm not the same person. Like, well, girl, like, you should have been saying that before you, you was rumbling, rumbling, rumbling and tumbling in the bedroom. You should have been trying to see what she was going to do for you before that. Why do girls always make this mistake? They give up their body first. And like, you already knew what she was working with. You've been with it for eight years. Why? But you wanted to see if she got some new skills from over there with Avery? what's up y'all we just want to give a quick disclaimer so yes we know the video is long yes treat it like a podcast y'all look we ain't been here y'all so y'all should be excited to just really hear us pop our shit yes we want to say <laughs> thank you so much for being patient with us while we were traveling and also this month september it makes it nine years that we have been together meaning nine years ago was when we had that red light special y'all and ever since we are still together so show us some love man yes man subscribe <laughs> to the channel y'all and make sure y'all hit that motherfucking thumbs up let's get into it what's up y'all yeah, my name is nick rochelle and i am Carla rochelle and we are a married couple on this channel we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on youtube so if that sounds like something you're interested in make sure you click that subscribe button and if you want to join the membership to our channel and become one of our little freaks Hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, members. And this Saturday, if everything goes according to plan, we are going to have a Let's Chop It Up session at 7 p.m. Central via Google Meet. Yep, yep. Where we're going to talk about everything that's been going on in this YouTube streets. Um, and we're just going to catch up and all that good stuff. Of course, if you're not a member, just hit the join button. And uh, we look forward to hanging out with you guys. Uh, babe, who are we reacting to today? All right, y'all. So today we're reacting to um, Truthfully Podcast. Mm -hmm. Finally talking about what's been hidden. I asked the side chick with Lily yours truly. I asked the side chick. Now, you know what's so crazy? I'm so confused. I don't know if she's talking about Avery or B at this point. <laughs> who child yeah like they ain't even trying to be funny <laughs> no i'm saying when you said it because yeah. it's just thing, been so much going on it has been yeah i was automatically thinking avery yeah but. i thought that too but then quickly okay so yeah we're gonna just jump right into it y'all before we get the reaction do us a favor hit the like button because it helps us grow less we're yeah. ready shop can y'all imagine that like picture yourself talking to your ex and your little new boo calling you y'all saw me trying to drink it away y'all saw me trying to party away y'all saw me trying to sex it away which and i understand like some of y'all don't like that mm. some of y'all don't like me and i've grown <laughs> Before we get into this video, I gotta clear two things up that I forgot to mention in this video, you guys. Um, one being this picture right here. Y'all, when my ex posted this picture, I was not talking about me being at the house, okay? We was on the phone. I was waiting on my friend to go to a birthday dinner, and I was like, let me call you back, and I need to see if she left. She was like, where my picture? I ended up texting her and being like, girl, she ain't even left either. Meaning my friend hadn't left the house either. And I was rushing for no reason. So that was that. Two, my kids. My kids have not seen Hannah in two years, y'all. Two years. Bryce actually has her picture saved as his lock screen on his iPad. Their bond is their bond. And I was willingly in allowing that bond to happen. It says, because of how we ended, I felt like apologies were needed, and I didn't know how long this would last or what she would be on, so the kids were off limits. Okay. If they spoke to each other, like, via message or whatever, but they really didn't talk. And whenever my ex was on the phone with me or FaceTime or anything, they never knew. They never knew I was in contact with her until I told them. So that was that message then. So yeah, I just had to clear that up. Um, Y'all can skip to like 15 minutes. That's when the story started, but bye. Yeah, and I guess I'm just gonna say like, you know, while we were um, out of town, 
we were trying to kind of keep up with some of the things that were being put out there. So what are your thoughts as far as, uh, cause I do remember that picture that Graham dropped where the screenshot where I guess it was left for us to assume that she was talking about B. Yeah. When, um, <laughs> when she said the, did she say she was talking about B? Or she never said it. She it's never just, she said just put it. the screenshot she just out, put there. It out there. Because again, like Graham's always say, um, what is the saying? Um, believe half of what you see, whatever. Yeah, so it was like she just left it up for people to assume. And so, of course, people was just like, what? She was talking about B. Yeah. I mean, she still, I think, was pillow talking, but we'll get into that. Yeah. But, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Come on, let's get to it, girl. I am Lee Wantalia, also known as Lily Your Truly, and welcome to Truthfully, a podcast where my truths are my truths, their truths are their truths, and somewhere in between is some truths y'all won't even believe. But at the end of each and every day, I'm going to always be true to me. <laughs> oh, my goodness, y'all. So... Whew. I have to take a deep breath because every time I get ready to film one of these videos, for some reason, I get nervous. And no, I don't have any wine today. I know I got my fireplace going, but I don't have any wine and it's just gonna be me and my detox tea. <laughs> this is the watermelon I ate so detox tea and y'all, I absolutely love it. If you want some. Okay, let me ask you this because she says she gets nervous. I mean, I can actually understand that why she would get nervous. And yes, I'm going to pause it. I hate when people say, stop pausing so much. Go watch the fucking video on your own. But um, <laughs> I, when she says she's nervous, do you think it's because... Because my thing is, like, let's say, for example, if someone tries to expose me or, you know, make me look a certain way, I feel like I just need to tell the truth because I don't hide shit. Yeah. But I still can see why she feel nervous because at the end of the day, no matter what she put out there, the internet is just going to behave yeah. like the internet. It can be vicious. Yeah. Depending on what side you land on. Actually observing their journey, it actually really makes me try to evaluate just how much of me and Carla, like I put out of us because of just how vicious it gets when you put so much of yourself out there. Yeah. I don't, I think, I don't think it's anything wrong with putting yourself out there. I think when um, people feel like you're not being honest or you're not being true. When you're doing I that think, double talking shit. Yeah. I think when you're being your authentic self, um, hey, like, what can somebody say? That's or people, why, they like to size you up and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, yeah, but at the end of the day, it's like, I don't care about a motherfucker sizing me up. What I care about is how I present myself. And if, like, the shit that I, that I did, if I can talk about it, then nobody else can throw it up in my face. So that's why I always preach making sure that you go within and forgive yourself for any shit that you did. So that way, when somebody starts trying to talk about something, it won't impact you like that. And hopefully you already didn't put your own fucking story out. Um, the link is in the description box, girl. I'm because a lot of shit I got to get up out of me. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, before I get started, I really just want to ask God to cover me and protect me as I open myself up to be vulnerable with you guys. I ask that God protect my home, my mind, my body, and my spirit, and that it is covered by the heavens. I ask that these words flow freely through spirit from my heart and that you guys be able to get the answers to all of the questions that you've been wanting to know. I feel like I've tried so many times to film this video and every time it was some She's things coming really up and it was just here. like, no, no, no. Um, and it was meant to be done the way that it's gonna be done today. I think I've did this like three or four times and God told me no every time. It wasn't being delivered right, right? And honestly, I just felt gullible and stupid, but here we are. No, she need to put in, here we are a fucking again. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I already said, like I showed like shorts, like we were in this situation two years ago. Yeah. Was it two years ago? 
Yeah, it was two years ago um, yeah. where she was talking to Grams on the low. Everybody else thinking she going through her healing shit. Nobody knew she was talking until some shit blew up. Yeah. And then that's when the whole Carla, the whole the whole big thing happened. Yeah. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, I feel like it was they coming know. from a, a more prideful <laughs> place. And that's not how I want to come across. And we have to understand. Oh, like, yeah, because yeah. baby. Yeah. I'm when, glad she said that. Yes, because it's like when people trying to, like, ask you questions go ahead no i was gonna say do you think she's saying that because she know that she's doing that or is it because that's what the comments are telling her because there's been both. a lot of people that's been voicing their opinion and just saying like they don't like her arrogance they don't like mm -hmm. how she's addressing or not addressing certain things or they don't like how you know they felt like it was something like monetary or yeah and that's been, that, that's like her ego you yeah. know what i'm saying it's like again how i said a lot of us in our age group millennials it's like we can't be told and, and younger we can't be told about ourselves you know what i'm saying yeah. it's a lot of us it's hard to hear that shit and i saw the video where well i didn't see it i saw the clip of when Lily was saying she was giving advice to her family member. Oh, yeah. And then her family member got mad. And then, um, and then started, like, talking about, well, what about your shit? It's like they both can't hear, don't want to hear, you know, what they need to hear to grow. Yeah, but I think that's just, um... This reaction may be a little long because we ain't been here in a minute. We've been yes. gone for two weeks. And, and y'all, so this was it. Like, even when people was asking us to, like, react, it was kind of like, y'all, we are out the country. <laughs> we are trying to enjoy our trip. Yeah. Like, I'm not about to stop what I'm doing over here, this opportunity to react. But, you know, even Nick tried to put some clips out and let y'all know, like, the same thing we thought two years ago, <laughs> that's the same thing we think right now, y'all. Like, if, if we react to it, we're going to be saying the same shit. And I really don't like repeating myself. Oh, Lord, don't say that. I can't stand for a woman to look weak. <laughs> and that shit blow up. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Like, I've been over here on this channel. I've been building this platform for over the last eight years. Here. She don't ever the first vlog. listen to me. So Grams was in the first vlog, her first vlog. I mean, I'm not saying the first video, but first vlog, okay. In October, it'll be eight years that I've been doing this. And when I started it, it was Why all about being... put that kiss and sucking on the neck? Dang. Because she trying to let y'all know, y'all, this what real me in. <laughs> and true to myself and being true to others and letting others know that they can be true to their self and still be successful in life. So that's always the message that I want to convey. And that's the message that I feel like um, God is helping me put out to everybody else so i know what y'all here for y'all here to sip some tea and right. don't worry we gonna sip it yes, the tea is bitch. going to be spilt okay <laughs> but i just gotta set the stage and let y'all know what's gonna be going on over here at truthfully i took some notes so i don't be off track i Good didn't want to leave anything out and for the most part i'm really just going to be flowing freely but <laughs> i wanted to just come and bear it off for you guys and i thought there's no other way to start this off than me coming and telling my truth, speaking my truth. I feel like over the years, y'all done saw me be broke, be broken, be in love, be heartbroken, be fat, be skinny, be toothless. Y'all done saw everything all up in here and in between, okay? The only thing y'all ain't saw is, or been up in, is my vagina. And I'm trying to keep that to myself because it's a lot of y'all and Miss Kitty ain't trying to be wider than all outdoors, okay? So <laughs> we just gonna put that out there. On a real serious note, I want us to I'm gonna all... tell you now, if, uh, <laughs> if your vagina had me acting like me, where I can't fucking leave, oh, no, I don't want no parts in that shit. She must got some some roots action, something going on up in that motherfucker. Why B is hooked like that? I think Hell nah. I even forgot what I was saying the last time. But I just really think um <laughs> it's just toxicity. 
and it's learn like people yeah you know what i'm saying because i told nick i'll never forget i was in a relationship or going through a breakup and somebody was trying to tell me i wasn't trying and it was getting me to fall into toxic behavior and you have to be able to recognize that they were so, saying you weren't trying to fight for your relationship even though they was out cheating and doing the toxic yeah, shit it's on me i'm in my head like is it me like am i tripping am i really not but trying? look but you remember like in the beginning like that video clip one of the video clips we saw when we first when b was first introduced to us B was like coming in your life toxic, you know, I'm toxic. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, law, law of attraction, yeah. like attracts like. We already know Lily ain't even fully out her, barely out her damn relationship, her fiance and all that. She already hopping on uh, B's pogo stick. It's two toxic motherfuckers. Yeah, but also <laughs> I think about being young. Um, yeah, yeah. Like when I was young, y'all, I was a different type of breed. I was not, you know, like vulnerable. I was like one of them motherfuckers. I was just like, fuck you, you know? But you have people that get out here and they are vulnerable with people. And I think they end up dealing with shit longer than what they're supposed to because the toxic shit mm -hmm. set in. And just because you wear them boy clothes and you look masculine, that don't mean your ass don't have that female yeah. brain and you won't get hooked after fucking a motherfucker. Yeah, because y'all, <laughs> let's not forget, we all still got shit that we working on from our parents shit that's embedded in our dna yeah. so it's stuff that we see would be as well you know that we can tell like it's something that she needs to work on and that's probably something that's keeping her in this situation mm -hmm. understand that we are all fighting different battles right and different spirits at the same time so I'm talking about spirits of abandonment, spirits of rejection, spirits yeah. of narcissism, yeah. spirits of depression, so many different spirits. And I feel like it's eye opening when you're in the public eye and people are able to see you go through these battles. And honestly and truthfully, I had to face my spirits and my demons and my battles in the public and I still had to do it in the way that I had to do it for me. And I understand, like some of y'all don't like that. Some of y'all don't like me and I've grown up. And some of y'all can kiss where the, some of y'all can kiss her ass. That's what she's saying. But she okay with that, it is what <laughs> it is. And I tell people all the time, like I really understand because I fall in love with my favorite characters too. And I feel like people like to think of this YouTube thing as like a TV show or something like that. And I I know how I be sitting here. Y'all see me when I'm out watching my um series and stuff. I'm falling in love with the characters and I'm like, bitch, stupid. You shouldn't have been doing that. This, 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 and this. And I feel like that's the thing. Like, those are characters. Somebody's writing the script for them, right? But this is my real life, <laughs> my real heartbreak, my real ups, my real downs, my real healing, you know, me learning how to set real boundaries and stand on them, right? Y'all get to see it all. Yeah, but the shit get exhausting when it's like, this feel like uh, 20, what did it happen, 2020? It feel like that shit all over again. Yeah. It's like, it's exhausting when you hear, you know, Lily say, okay, this is what I'm finna do. I'm finna start doing this and then I'm gonna do that. And then, you know, long ass hour videos of her saying that just for her to turn around and not do it. Yeah. I think that's what this exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the difference. <laughs> this is me. And with that being said, I'm finally learning how to rebuke those spirits that show up in the people that I love. Because See, like that part right there when she said, I'm finally learning how to rebuke the spirits. It's like, yeah, you're saying that, but then, okay, what if two years from now we got the same situation? Yeah. You know? All right. So. That's how they get you, right? Like these spirits show up in what you are most vulnerable to. And you know, like if somebody knows your weakness, then they have control over you. So these spirits show up for me in the forms of the people I love because that's where my weaknesses lie, you know? And spiritual warfare is real. And baby, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So we about to lay all this out. Go grab your popcorn, your chips, your drinky drink, grab your pizza, um, grab whatever it is that you need. If you need some wine or some detox tea, 
We finna come down and we finna sit down and we finna talk about it and we finna get it all out. All right, so let's sip this tea. So y'all know me, I say it all the time. Like, it's not easy for me to walk away from <laughs> things, people, places, objects that I love. Um, I think the type of personality I got, I get really attached and it can come out. Yeah, please learn from this ish. I'm about to say and don't backslide. <laughs> but she said that before like I remember in Lily original video she was basically saying the same thing like <clears throat> basically saying you need to know your worth and stop being with somebody that can't love you or somebody that's holding you back from being loved the right way. Boy I tell you one thing <clears throat> these comments was lighting their ass all Four of them. They would lighten their ass up. Lily was getting it, Graham getting it, uh, B was getting it. But one comment, that, one comment, they was like, I wish Lily knew how to cut her ex off like she'd be cutting her friends off. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> like how Lily said she'd be attached to us. She sure cut them friends off fast as hell. Look how, yeah, how but, fast uh, Tay came and went. But, yeah, but I think she even mentioned that before. I, I remember her even saying that before. So she's admitted that. <laughs> it's very like possessive and it's just like once you're mine you're mine and I just feel like if something is in my life and I feel like it's supposed to be in my life I hold on to it so if you're new here and not true here um this channel that you're watching right now actually used to be Lily and Grams and I turned it into Lily and Grams in 20. 16 or 2017. I want to say 20. That's another thing, too. Like, I don't see how she couldn't see Grams coming from a mile away. Like, we, I mean, look, I know she started the channel first with her wigs and all that, but let's just be real. A lot of people that I, that I'm looking, like, through the comments and stuff, they said they found her through the Lily and Grams like the relationship because during that time relationship channels was trending yeah. and all that stuff so Graham's probably be thinking like okay you done took the channels you done hadn't got you know she feel like because she don't take accountability for nothing or well, I don't know if she did or not oh, for, as far as her recent videos because I ain't really watched them but still <laughs> um, she wasn't taking accountability when we were watching her shit and you know you you got the internet so she feel like you got the internet beating me up you leaving me out to dry you don't think that mug was gonna come for revenge on that ass lack of discernment it i just it's just no way why couldn't she see that coming from a mile away yeah i don't know and we've already talked about this too like it's just lack of discernment being too trusting in the wrong person it's like how I'll, you build discernment up Maybe, maybe we need to talk about that. It's How like you build you, that shit up? You have to pray. You have to pray for discernment. Um, that's what I did. And you then know, when you pray, I'm sure the universe take you through certain tests. Life lessons. This may be these life lessons and that yes, she's learning she's right now. Them. Yeah, that's what's happening. <laughs> you got to learn, girl, because you should have been able to see that from a mile away. Yeah. It's 16. Um, I started the channel in 2015, October 2015, and it was just Lily or Truly. Um, but me and my ex, we went through a breakup in 2016. That you're telling me, you're breaking up with me? Like, you gotta be pranking me. Like, where the fuck is my camera? She pranking me. Yeah, ha ha he he. It's a joke. No, she- Especially when you had all the signs and the same signs for years. Look at Skinny Lily's doing the same shit. In <laughs> 2016, the same shit. Probably talking about the same shit. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my. Um, let me catch my breath because I'm mad as fuck. This is my closet. My closet is empty now. These are my shelves. This is where Hannah stuff used to be. And this is what I got on. So, me and Hannah broke up because she's a lying, lying ass bitch. How long she gonna fail these tests, babe? Since you know and not tell me. How long? How long this shit gonna take? Only she can let she us She calling know. her a lying whore back then during them days. I don't know if she cheating, but I think she cheating. That's good enough for motherfucking me. But, 
I just cut all of her shit up. I went to her motherfucking job. Oh, and if you don't believe me, here go all the fucking hangers on the fucking the floor. Is that rocket? And I'm about to meet her sister out back. And me being me, even with going through that breakup, it's all over YouTube, so you can go watch the videos of where we was going through views. that breakup, through that transition, and we was growing and evolving in that time of our life. And definitely for me, I, I definitely became a whole nother person, like going through that breakup. That breakup, I always like used to look at my ex and I used to be like, you know what? It was bittersweet because I thanked her for it because it kind of catapulted me into the person who I am today. It brought a sense of fire under my ass that I just knew I had to make a stable foundation for myself because I was very codependent <laughs> and I was very attached and just very um, much in a place where I depended on her, you know? And I depended on a lot of people at that time. My dad, my mom, but that's that's another that's another story for another podcast. <laughs> so me and my ex, just a little quick backstory, we got together in 2012, y'all. And when I met her, I was with my son's father at the time, and I was in a really bad relationship. I was young, I was 21 years old, and in that relationship, it wasn't really bad, I won't put it out like that, but it was definitely a learning phase for me in my life, and I had completely lost my sense of self. And so, excuse me, me and my ex was like a breath of fresh air. Like, I felt like I could be myself. Um, this person made me happy. Um, we related in a lot of ways. And I feel like we, we just, we came in as best friends just like that. And it was just, it was just an instant bond, instant attraction. You know, when people say love at first sight, like that's what it was. And so over time, I still had my attachment to my um, ex at that time, and I was going back and forth between the two, very much confused because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm, Gramps was eating dick juice pussy? Yep. Ugh. She was okay with it. Ugh. Usually people that can do that, they're okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> One, I had not ever been in love with a woman. And two, it was just like a different type of love that I was feeling, right? And so that goes into where we get this platform from now. We had some great times. That's because women bun differently. I know you're not, not gonna sing that song. I, I know you're not, not gonna sing that song. over on um, building our platform and we experienced a lot of things, a lot of ups, a lot of downs and that relationship has taught me so much when it comes to my traumas, when it comes to myself, when it comes to just um, everything, like holding myself accountable, like a lot and you can watch it. I still got the videos up there. I'm not deleting the video. So y'all can go back and watch the evolution of Lily and Grams, okay? However, in 2016, my ex did something similar than what she, to what she did in 2014. Um, and in 2014, I kind of blamed myself because like I said, when we first met in 2012, I was going through my own cycle of bullshit and um, I was making a lot of mistakes and that's how my son even got here. Uh, I'm not saying that my son was a mistake, but I was going back and forth between my baby daddy and her. And when me and her was on a break, I was with my baby daddy and that's how I ended up with my baby. Um, but we got together, we made it work. And so in 2014, a mishap happened. Then in 2016, that's the one that changed my life. And now you have Lily or truly, right? But we stayed on a path. Um, I was forgiven. It took time, it took strength. It was a lot of tears, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. And I wonder, is this camera showing up dark? Hold on. But yeah, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of love. Um, and it was really teaching me about unconditional love. So skip to 2020. She said unconditional love. Like, what does that mean to you? Does that mean love with no conditions? Yeah. 
Is that what that means? Yeah, like, like no matter what, no matter who you are, I love you. But it don't what mean, they do to you? Well, then I don't know if that's the... I don't know. Or is it that you have to have some type of boundaries? I think you still need to have boundaries. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You can still love a person, but love yourself enough to not put love yourself, yourself in... more. Yeah, to not put yourself in a situation where you're hurting yourself, where it's toxic for you and your kids. Yeah. One, when the massacre happened, you could go watch that too. The breakup, my ex cheated on me and she left me and she's been in a relationship with the, or she was in a relationship with the person that she left me with for the last um, two years and now they broke up. And so that brings us to this story of how me and my ex reunited or started back talking. Um, and it's gonna answer y'all questions. So sorry about the little rundown. Y'all know I had to do it. So, <laughs> okay, let's get down to it. December of 2022, Christmas, my, I got a missed call, which was this missed call right here. And I sent it to my cousin and I was like, girl, I got a missed call. I already know who it is because only one person called me from a block number. So I'm in my mind like, oh my gosh, Wait, I what knew did this person. Say? Did it say Big Daddy? Oh, person was missed to call me from a block number. <laughs> so I'm in my mind, I already know, sent it to my cousin. Oh, I was just like, but oh, still, what did it say? Which was this missed call right here. Oh, no, no caller ID. ID. Okay, okay. Sorry, okay. it happened so fast. <laughs> I know, that's why I was like, what? <laughs> How and I said to my back? cousin, and I was like, girl, I got a missed call. I already know who it is because only one person called me from a block number. So I'm in my mind like, oh my gosh, I knew this person was missing me. I knew all these feelings I've been feeling is crazy. And I don't know if y'all have ever been like energetically connected to a person or spiritually connected to a person, but you can feel everything, you know, everything. And it's just like, it, it, it's a real. Babe, do you feel like that about me? Like, I don't know if I would know that if I wasn't around you. Now, unless I'm keeping up with you, that's the only way but i don't know if i and i love you you know what i'm saying but i don't know like say for instance if we was broke up and you was out there doing your own thing i don't know that i would be like oh she going through something yeah but we do you can't admit sometimes you have moments where it's like your body just predicts something and it just be on point not necessarily yeah. even with me just period in the world yeah so. now now it could be this like sometimes nick and i both we have moments like when we're feeling some type of way for lack of better words or like if you're feeling like um it's something else i feel like i want to do in life or you know, we have had moments where I might say something to Nick and she'll say that's crazy because I've been feeling blah, blah, blah. Now, maybe it's that. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe they normally kind of go through the same cycles at the same time. You know, like depression or feeling like you want to be ambitious about something. Yeah. So maybe they go through those same cycles or maybe if like, say, for instance, when she, you know, is dealing with B, maybe it's like they had the same cycle. So maybe if she's going through something, she like, oh, I know this motherfucker going through something, too. So maybe they kind of go through the same cycles together. And that's how she know. Maybe, like, yeah. maybe if she like, I'm over B ass. Maybe it's been times when they was in a relationship, they was kind of having those same feelings. So she know like, oh, okay, if I'm feeling like this, her ass probably like over this. Avery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're saying. Real crazy feeling. Like it's like it takes over your mind. It takes over your body. It takes over your day. And there was not a day in the last two years that I feel like that I was just absolutely okay. 
over the last two years, y'all have been on this journey of yeah, healing with me. Y'all done saw me on trips. Y'all done saw me trying to drink it away. Y'all done saw me trying to party away. Y'all done saw me trying to which, sex it away, which I right. didn't really get none of that because I ended up getting in my situation that I had going on at that time. Um, and that took me down a whole nother path, right? But Hold on, so I, she said she tried to get in that situation she had at that time. So is she trying to imply that her and B don't have anything going on anymore? Child, who knows? I don't know. It's kind of like Lovely T said, like when drama gets so convoluted, after a while, I just like dismiss, like fall back and watch yeah. it play out. It's yeah. almost like, I hate to say lose interest, yeah, but it's I just think too it's, much going on. I think it's more so you care about yourself and your energy. Yeah, and it's and like peace. the stuff is starting to drain your energy because that's how I felt when we was out of town. I yeah. mean, when we was out the country. I was just like, you know what? This shit is like an energy vampire. And I just, I don't. I, I don't want to do this right I'm now. I'm actually grateful that we were in Japan when all this shit happened. Yeah. Yeah, because I wouldn't have wanted to have to stay on top of dealing with, like, trying to react to all this shit. <laughs> All of this was to try to get through this healing. I'm growing and I'm learning. So when I saw that call in December, I'm like, oh Lord, here it go. She finna try to do some shit like she did last year. If y'all go watch the videos, last year in January was the last time before that that I talked to my ex. We went a whole year without talking. So that December, I'm like, oh, I know she ain't finna try to run back what had started in January of the year prior, right? Of mm -hmm. the year before this. 20 22 damn so girl i said hold on that'd be around the time of her birthday too because she in aquarius right i don't know if she in january or february yeah but um it'd be like getting close to her birthday i wonder if that's a trigger for her it could be where she, yeah my cousin and i'm like you see this like and she like uh. so by then my ex had called the second time when she called the second time i answered i'm like hello and she was like, I love you. And she hung up the phone. <laughs> Y'all. So childish. <laughs> I hate your hat. What? <laughs> when she did that oh, and right. then got off live. I hate your hat. You that not know what just funny. a simple I love you can do to a person who has been no, wanting to. It no, like, no, it no. like it made her literally go whoosh, whoosh, no. open her legs, ready to get uh, slopped up by uh, Grams. What? No. It seemed like it did a lot for her. It did. I ooh. I mean, for a per it just depends on who you are, I guess, yeah. and where you are mentally. Like, if I'm done with your ass or if you done me wrong, you could say all type of shit. That ain't going to do shit for me. I know. You could pay my motherfucking bills for the rest of the damn year. And I'm, yeah. And I still wouldn't care. Exactly. Friend <laughs> who has been trying to heal, who has been... Like, I got all these unanswered questions in my mind because one, I wanna know why you been doing what you been doing, why you was treating me the way you was been treating me. I know your stupid ass love me, but you done embarrassed me on this internet and I wanna know why. And I wanna know, do you understand what you did? Do you understand how that made me feel? Do you get it? That Do you get the principle to it all? Like, these are all the questions that I had in my head which is gonna lead me to what happened in March. So after that December, I did not talk to my ex. The calls were just the calls and that was just that. So, woo, honey, <laughs> we get into the nitty gritty. Now we are in March. March of this year, I get a phone call while I was in the shower, which is this phone call right here. And I- Strickland, who is that? The Oh, she oh. called from her sister phone. Oh, okay. Damn, what that say? Incoming call, three hours and 38 minutes? Mm -hmm. Is that how long they was on the phone? Good God. I noticed that it said my um, <laughs> my ex's sister name. Yeah. And so I'm like, I wonder if something wrong. Like, is, is this okay? Like, this is this. So I just answered the phone. I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the shower at the time. I answered the phone. I'm like, hello? And she was like, I need to talk to you. Or like, hey. That's how we usually start talking to each other, like, hey. And usually the hey, like, will put, like, a smile on my fucking face. But I was like, hey. 
you know so i'm like okay yeah what's up she was like i need to talk to you because some shit just been really weighing heavily on my heart on my chest and i feel like god is telling me that i need to get that off my chest like i need to come back and i need to do what i need to do and she was like may i talk to you and i said Aww. yeah as y'all can see, the conversation lasted three hours. Yes, okay. girl. She didn't even get to wash her coochie all the way. No, no. Her ass. She didn't even get to finish washing it. <laughs> and you know she got that big ass boo. You got to really take your time with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because she got extra. So you got to take your time with a regular ass. Right. <laughs> So we on the phone. She basically telling me everything that I ever wanted to hear her say. All those questions that I had that I was asking that y'all just heard me ask. Like she was like laying it out. Basically it going into detail telling me how, you know, her life had been miserable. How things had just been happening to her. How her money had been fucked up. How, you know, she found herself being in that relationship over there and not wanting to do the nice things for the girl that she was dating because she was like, well, I could have been doing all this for the person that I actually love. Like, I should have been doing this for the person that actually loved me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was laying it out. And... Yeah, but I would have had to be like, but when you was doing videos with her, you loved her. So why wasn't you doing those things? But see, that's me. That's petty me. Like, okay, but that's the choice that you decided to make. Man, she was just laying all that shit on her and it worked. It worked. I'll never forget when my ex tried to do that to yep, me. Yep, so did. Like, she had an old manipulative ex, too. Yeah, and then when my ex was trying to talk about the, the person who she left me for, and I said, I don't know what you want me to say. I said, that's the person who you decided to be with. I don't know what you expected me to say. And then she was like, yeah, she was like, you was a good person. I did you wrong. I said, I'm glad you know that now. Like what? what? What the fuck is you on my phone for? I was eating it up. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I was eating it up because like, oh my gosh, you finally getting it, right? You finally seeing it. I mean, the accountability was there. The truth was there. It was flowing out. It didn't sound manipulative. It didn't sound let's like say, a lot. Let's say if I was a manipulative person or a narcissist or whatever, and I just got beat the fuck up by the internet because I didn't realize I was so slick with my, my ways. I usually get away with the shit that I do, but for whatever reason, there's been a shift and everybody can see right through my bullshit. Those two years, I'm going to sit back, I'm going to watch all the different videos, listen to what different people saying, maybe watch some reaction videos, listen to all the wisdom that comes from Nick and Carla and King's Corner, Told by T, and, you know, uh, uh, and just, like, listen to what they Sweet say. Mom. Sweet mom. Sweet <laughs> This is a so shit that they said that I should have did, and now I got everything I need to wiggle my ass back in there. Cause this what she want. I know what she want. I know what the accountability post to look like. I know what type of shit that she needs to hear from me. Oh yeah, I'm ready now. Yeah, it's the same way how they always say we make ourselves vulnerable on this internet because we always talk about what we like, what we don't like, and it sets us up like for that type of stuff. And they also say people that do videos, you know, like couple channels or, you know, like people like Lily. So like when we ask questions, the viewers, it helped them have additional content if they actually listen. And you can tell sometimes they do. And that's why you hear some people like Priscilla, like she said, when you first meet a dude or whatever, and y'all like having that first conversation and he asks like, what things do you like? Um, even your daughter says she didn't fall for this trick, but she said, never give, don't give them the recipe to be the perfect imposter to unlock your fucking coochie. Yeah. You know, your heart. Yeah, because it's easy for somebody to keep up you be with like, oh, side. This, yeah, you be like, oh, like, I like this, 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 and this. Okay, so I just need to pretend to be this person yeah, I can to do get that. what I want. I can do that for three or four months, so yeah. I can go and put this dick on you. That's why the relationship, <laughs> and then, that's why the relationship, and then once I fuck you, I know you're going to be hooked for a little while. That's why the relationships only be lasting. 
I'm up in here. Two and a half years. Notice. I got your mind. Notice we in this situation <laughs> where Grandma Avery broke up and her and B have, I don't know what the fuck they got going on, but it's two <laughs> years. It's two, two in a two and a half year. They couldn't hold that shit up no more. But you know something? <laughs> when she was talking, what it made me think about was one of her original videos and I don't know which one it was because it was one where she sat down in the white bra and it was the other one where she sat down and I think she had on black. <laughs> that was the one when she got mad when Avery Friend was popping off. But um, I know in one of those videos she definitely said that um, Grams and Avery was not going to last. She also said that Grams was telling her even back then that she loved her and she was making promises to her. And I think just for a fraction of a piece, Lily felt like she knew Grams was going to come back. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like... like she low-key wanted it, probably. Yeah, it's like she was just waiting. And I think in, even in one of them videos, she said... Before she came out to the public to let us know, she said she she didn't want to come out because she was hoping that it could be rectified. She was hoping Grams would get over there and see the things that she was trying to do. It wasn't the right thing for her, and she was hoping that they was going to be able to rekindle. So I think that that's just a small piece of hope that she was holding on to. But it's just still confusing. It's still just baffling to me. I, it felt genuine, you know? And so, while we on the phone, B call in on the line because B is highly, highly intuitive, y'all. I always tell her, I be like, God, this motherfucker is intuitive. So I told her, I was like, oh my gosh, hold on. I was like, um, B calling me. I was like, hold on, I'm finna answer. But when I answered the first time, I lied. I clicked over to B and I was like, hello. And she was like, what you doing? This, this, and this. And I know she could feel it in her heart. And I, my heart was just trembling because I'm like, oh my gosh, I do not want to do what somebody did to me. And what somebody did to me, what my ex did to me when I was in that situation, when I knew what I feeling, what I was feeling was true, she downplayed my feelings. And I did it anyway. Y'all, I lied. I was like, I'm on the phone with my daddy. Like, I'm gonna call you right back. I'm gonna call you right back. I'm on the phone with my daddy. She was like, you ain't on the phone with your daddy. I know you lied, this, this, and this. And I'm sitting here like, well, one, I'm not in a relationship, but that don't matter because I know that this girl got feelings and I got feelings for her too, you know, so. I if it looked like a duck, sound like a duck, it's a motherfucking relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to wait, be wait. I felt like <laughs> shitty as hell, but that didn't stop me from still having the conversation. <sighs> Click back over. Wow. I'm getting more details. I'm getting down to the nitty gritty. And so, I mean, I'm telling this person like, look, it's hard for me to really accept your apology. Like she said, she felt like God was telling her that she had to come and apologize to me and make things right. And I be feeling like some people be using the whole God and spiritual and all that shit to manipulate. Mm -hmm. With me, because if she didn't, her life wasn't gonna get back on track. She felt like because she did wrong by me and that because she handled that situation wrong, that that's why she was going through the things that she's been going through. And it is what it is, you know? But I told her, I was like, I'ma just have to be honest with you, Hannah. Um, how are you coming back to apologize to me while you're still involved with the bitch you cheated on me with? You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like that's crazy. And everybody here knows that story. We all know how that got started and how um, that happened. It's videos all over YouTube, so y'all can go reference it. And I actually had somebody from my team reach out to Avery and ask her if she wanted to be a part of this. Hold up. Hi, Avery. I hope this email finds you well. My name is Sharice Lawantas Lili, personal assistant, and I am reaching out to extend a formal invitation to join Lili as a guest on her podcast, Truthfully. We would love to have you on the show to give your personal opinion and truth about the breakup between Lili and Grams and after looking at the insights 
it would greatly benefit both parties, audiences, to hear your truth. At Truthfully Podcast, we strive to create meaningful and truthful discussions. Girl, you done probably, I'm sorry, Lily done lied and double talked so much, she done stuck this shit in chat GPT and said, hey, act like you Sharice and write up an email to send to Avery. Well, I don't even give a damn lie to that. <laughs> I need to see the dates. It's like the way people be putting stuff, screenshots on here. And she here. screenshot it, what's say 20 minutes ago? Okay. Uh, okay, at Truthfully Podcast, we try to create, okay, um, General, our focus is to provide our listeners with valuable, truthful information and perspectives from professional entrepreneurs, influencers, and real life people like yourself. Your unique and personal opinion. This is some chat GPT shit. <laughs> and experience about the breakup makes you an ideal candidate for this engaging conversation. During this interview, we would love to explore various aspects, like a little about who you are, your career. Okay. okay. Yeah, but I guess my thing is, is why? Like, why I'm reaching out to That is a good question, though. When did she send this? Yeah, when did she send it and why? Because I wouldn't give a damn. Money money look at you see we've been seeing all these uh youtube creators linking up with their ex linking up with their ex Old side piece then meek uh link up with her ex and the ex uh uh new boo uh i think jazz trying to do something with tay uh race so wavy. wavy and kiana, kiana j and then she done went back to the other to girl. lindasia uh-huh. so that's why it's like it's uh, i guess it's a new trend thing i don't know so you know okay it's like but like i said it's money and that's why, like, some people may watch me and Carla, and they be like, oh, y'all ain't growing like that. Y'all ain't doing, y'all, please don't, don't, please understand. We do not put this shit priority. That's why y'all ain't hear from us for so long. Because when we got back from Japan, we were so drained from being around so many different people. We just needed to be in our bubble <laughs> and just, like, love and just, like, rejuvenate, like, I mean, recuperate. Yeah. But it's money. Podcast, because somebody on my team had. Here are some key details regarding podcast interview. Okay, so it said it would have been September 16th, uh, 2023. Uh, what? Today is the 20th right now. So it would have been four days ago. Uh, recording in Atlanta, in person interview, topics, introduction, blah, blah. We understand that your time is valuable. Oh, this would be the date that it would happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been four days from uh, ago. Um, genuinely appreciate your consideration. If you have any specific topics you would like to discuss, any questions, da, 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 that would have been interesting. I wonder if they going to do it. It sounds well, like... She's saying an NDA um, and any necessary resources to help you prepare for the interview. Which... She would have had to sign an NDA. That would have been interesting. Had to see them. Uh, that would have been... Girl, <laughs> hey, I hope they do it. That's some good entertainment right there, boy. What? That'd be good. <laughs> Ran across a video of her saying that she would be willing to sit and talk to me. So I looked at it like, okay, this would be a great opportunity for both parties. We can get what we want to say out. It would be big. And, you know, we both Money. women at Money. the end of the day. And- Money. It would be big. Yes. Because <laughs> notice, like, even though it's, like, bad attention on Lily, she even mentioned in one of her reel- reels that she's taking advantage of this. And she's trying to squeeze it as much as she can. She had her birthday coming up. She's selling $500 uh, birthday tickets, maybe $400 birthday tickets. How much it costs to get on her birthday party? Yeah, I don't know. I think it was based off what they said it was different price ranges yeah selling youtube courses all type of shit selling her boo boo tea all this and i feel like sometimes we just we wanted to be heard we wanted to be we wanted to be heard you know i was going to give her an opportunity to be heard but and i quote her What's words this? were hello what hello what she been oh. to say her words were i don't want to do this on a platform where it's paid for views Hello. Oh, Let me just read it. I want to read it. Sorry. Something to be heard, but it says, "Hey, love, how are you? The situation is actually dead, and I'm moving forward just as well as anyone else. I appreciate the nice gesture, but I, I pass. I'll pass, love. Thanks again. Stay blessed. Um, 
And then I think Sharice said, if, if she want to talk, we can talk as grown woman. Did that say woman? Over some wine, not over social media, on a platform where people... See, this is the real person typing. You got, like, the people abbreviated all that? That other shit no, was... No, but that's Avery. She sent another message. Oh, oh, if she want to talk, we can talk as grown woman over some wine... Not, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Not over social media on a platform where people want to get paid for views. I'm very mature and grown, so tell her, hit me up if she would like to have that conversation. My inbox is always open. And I quote, her words were, I don't want to do this on a platform where it's paid for views. And she, were, she declined. I had my team reach out to her. She declined and that's what it is do i feel like that was her talking out of pride yes i feel like y'all been on this youtube saying whatever you wanted to say for the past two years getting paid for the views so why not come to a platform where we be women and we talk together and we get paid for the views what's your thoughts on that I mean, I can kind of see what she's saying, but I also see Avery's stance too because it's going to be on Lily's platform. So who's really going to benefit from it? And depending on the questions and how they're set up, Avery could end up in the same situation that Grams was in when we found out and people can turn against her. It's like, don't get me wrong. People, some people really don't fuck with Avery. They don't like how she handled the situation. I think they said she did a video and she said she don't regret, you know, anything that happened with Grams, like how she handled it. I guess she feel like, hell, she'll see if she had to do it again, she'll still take her from Lily. So some people, but some people, they like Avery's personality. And because of that, they're still following her. Now, depending on what type of questions would get asked, then that could be a setup for failure. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I can understand both. I can understand yeah. what Lily is saying to Lily, like, bitch, let's run this bag up. Right. But then I can understand Avery too. Everything ain't always about a bag. And Avery kind of like, okay, but if you want to talk, if you, if this going to help you get closure, if you want to get more details on what really happened, anything, I'm open to talk. Hit yeah. me up. My inbox is open, but I ain't trying to do this shit for, I ain't trying to, potentially get embarrassed online so I can get fucking bullied because you already know they're going to come and uh, body slam her ass. You already see how Gramps and drug Lily through the streets. All the thing it's going to take is for Avery to say the wrong thing yeah. and Gramps going to drag her ass too. So, or the whole internet will drag her. Yeah. And it's like right now out of this entire situation Avery is the one that won. Yeah. She so got the, the best she doing benefit. good being quiet. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, no, nah, no, nah, but Lily, she, she, she won too. Now like, she got two channels out the deal. She, <laughs> she, she making a lot of money. Yeah, but she already had these channels, and a lot of people can relate to her. Mm -hmm. It's just now she's on this little hiccup phase because people feel like they have been. But this deceived. drama has definitely shot her up more, even more. Yeah. Faster, I'll say. I was just, I, I do things that make sense and make sense. You know what I'm and saying? Dollars. So, dollars. It is what it is. That's what, what I just wanted, wanted to say. Let that be known. So, <laughs> um, moving forward, my ex is, we, we on the phone. I'm still in the bathroom. She going on and on about just how she saw her. This is this. So, I tell her, like, I can't accept this apology. I don't know if it's genuine. It feels genuine, but it's not given genuine because you're still in a relationship with the person you cheated on me with. So you really can't come really apologize to me until you're out of that situation. Like, it just, it don't feel real to me. And I made that clear. And she was like, So, but why can't, why can't sorry. she? Why can't she apologize to her until she's out of the situation? Why isn't it that she couldn't have... Because I still feel like Graham still could have apologized to her and just be like, look, I handled shit wrong. Yeah. I don't like how I handled it. Yeah, she don't have it's, to be out of the relationship with her to genuinely apologize. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't care how long, what I got to do to get you to understand how sorry I am and how I feel or what I gotta go through, I'm gonna do it. Like, she was expressing this. And so I'm like, okay. So boom, um, 
we get off the phone. I was on the phone with my cousin for a while, and then we got back on the phone. So me and my ex got back on the phone, and at this point, we on the phone for like hours more. So B them been calling, she calling in, and that will be the situation that my ex was talking about on her video. B busting through the door, coming in here, I'm on the phone, them two exchanging or having their conversation um, on FaceTime. Um, my ex trying to talk to her and she trying to like let her know like, hey, I'm not here to uproar this, 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 and this, or however it may be. We'll talk about that situation with Brittany on a, um, a future podcast. So make sure y'all tend to that, okay? Tune into that. So, boom, the next day from that incident, I wasn't feeling nobody. I wasn't feeling B, I wasn't feeling Hannah, I wasn't feeling anyone. And I was just like, God, this can't be my life. If you want to be totally honest, like, this can't be my life. Like, I don't waited to hear all this stuff for this long from this girl. I don't understand really why I still have this much love for this person. I don't understand this cycle that I'm in. I just want to be healed. I thought I was free. I thought I was in the clear. I'm trying to move forward. I want to be happy. And yes, I'm having issues over here because that's why I'm not in like a serious relationship. But I just felt like deep in my core that God just wanted me to be to myself, but I had already got attached to the person that I was dating so I didn't want them to go nowhere and I think oh, oh like I said we'll discuss that just being selfish honestly she wanted yeah. her cake and eat it too well I don't even think it's that I get what she's saying like even though she's been talking to B for these years it's some shit that's going on with them she probably like I don't want to be dealing with this in a relationship so that's why she said it's some stuff going on over here. That's why I'm not in a relationship. But I also don't want her to leave. That's because, it, like she said, she don't like being alone. But I don't even... So this is it. It's like I get when Lily make that statement. But I guess I feel like <laughs> you are not alone unless you abandon yourself. And that's what true healing is. So, what you mean, ban abandon yourself? So, like now, like that situation, like when she was saying, like she's going through her healing journey, it's like you really have to tap in and go within and make sure that you're not accepting certain shit, right? So that takes really being alone, so that your mind not being clouded. So I feel like if you drop all the bullshits don't talk to anybody that fear of oh i don't want to be by myself it's like you start to know like ain't nobody gonna show up for me how i'm gonna show up for me mm -hmm. so that's what i mean unless you abandon yourself and you don't stand on what the fuck you say that you're gonna do oh. then you are gonna end up fucking alone because you still gonna have that bullshit that you got going on in your life and ain't nobody gonna want to fuck with you so mm -hmm. that's why it's important to do the healing. Mm -hmm. That's why it's important to go within. That's why it's important to be by your damn self. So all this shit, like how she's saying, be over here, Graham's over here, mm -hmm. and I just don't know what I want to do. That's why you need to be by yourself. And a lot of people who like, she, don't, she already healed. I healed when I was in a relationship. This is what it looked like. Oh, what about them people saying... But it's been 10 years, which it really wasn't 10 years. It was and it was eight years. years of toxic toxicity. Yeah. But what, what about people saying, she just need, what if she just need closure? She just trying to get closure. They over there calling her ass. I'm like, I yeah. just like, shut it's the like, fuck up. So this is it. I'm okay with closure. <laughs> but if you are looking for closure in hopes of, closure in hopes of us reconciling, like are you trying to get closure like because the way I look at it is we finished that book we finished this book of Lily and Graham's the book is closed right so the thing is okay I want to hear why did you truly do me like that but it's like you not done and like in her videos when she did her sit down videos 
She said, I'm done. She said, me and Grams ain't together. We ain't gonna be together. So don't y'all come over here telling me nothing else that's going on that with her. That age like milk. Yes, it's like we've heard it. Like, we ain't gonna be together. <laughs> being selfish, being stupid, and just not knowing how to handle things properly. So, okay, the next day, my ex. It almost feel like Lily need a life coach. You know, sometimes people will say, well, what's the purpose of a life coach? I think you can talk to a life coach when you get in situations like this. Because the life coach is not in the midst. And they can give you some type of guidance. But, yeah. But it's like, I don't know. But she also got to really want... I, I, I was like, do she really want to be released from this whole grand right. cycle? But and it, and that's that, a that, question a you, life coach would ask. Or is that a, a question? Or is that... Okay, so is that something a life coach would take care of? Or some, like, professional therapy? Counseling? Take, both. But the thing is, sometimes I feel like people get in the midst and they, it's like they don't have the answers. And if they can ask somebody else who's not clouded, and I don't mean like a friend, I don't mean a cousin, I mean somebody who ain't got a dog in the motherfucking fight. Because if you try to ask them a question about your situation, they gonna always take it back to you and make you do that self-reflection, that work. Well, what is it that you want? And not just let you control the situation and get you to answer the questions. Well, what is it that you're hoping to get out of this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and then they will even let you know if you say something like, well, I really do want to be with her. Okay, so are you truly trying to heal? Because you've already said that it was toxic. So, well, yes, I'm trying to heal. Well, what is it about that relationship? It's like they'll even go into the relationship and talk about, the things that need to happen in the relationship in order for it to work. And that's a counselor. But right now, what I'm saying is, is like when she don't know how to navigate these two things, like if you're going to decide to put yourself in this situation, you need a life coach when you don't know how to handle certain stuff, mm -hmm. when you can't see clearly. Mm -hmm. Text me and she was like, you could at least let me know that you was good, that you was okay. And I was kind of dry texting her. And I'm like, look, honestly, I'm just not feeling none of this. Like, I'm just confused. I'm upset. Like, this is a lot. So she called me again. And I thought I had the clip. I'm going to try to find it. It might be on another memory card if I don't or will. But I thought I had the clip because I was in the car. And at this point, y'all, I'm literally like boohoo crying, which don't ever do that. And just know when it comes to exes, for anybody watching this video and you going through a situation like I was going through, just know they always come back. They always come back, they always apologize, but it's very, you have to make sure that they have evolved, okay? We just gonna say that. Just make sure that they have evolved. Um, you don't have nothing to say about that. It's like, you gotta make sure they evolve, but you also have to make sure you're evolved too. Mm -hmm. Because what's the purpose of them evolving? It really should have shit to do with you, right? If you're the one working on yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so, boom. Um, we on the phone. I'm in the car, and I'm just telling her, like, I understand this, but this is a lot. Like, you can't just be coming to disrupt things that I have going on over here just because you'd have had some type of revolution about the things that you did that's messed up. I appreciate you on the apologize. I appreciate you on the revelation. come clear, but really, you can't apologize to me behind the scenes. Apologize to me publicly like you embarrassed me publicly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I just had to make all that be clear. And so, boom, at the end of that day, I, th I thought about it and everything. I ended up sending her a text message, and I thought I had a screenshot of that text message, but it was in the old thread that I had of our, in, our, in my phone, and I deleted that thread, so I only got this new thread with all of these messages right here. Like, I, I wonder why she hell. deleted it, because she was probably trying to hide some stuff. Yeah, probably. Oh, it's, yeah. Like, I, it's hard to trust that shit when she say stuff like that. Yeah, I guess why don't you why don't you have proof is it because she was trusting and she was being manipulative with B so that's why she don't have the stuff that she's able to show because she was deleting it 
Maybe. Oh, probably. When I go on my phone, when I go on my phone, these are the messages. So any messages that anybody has, I have all the messages too. And then I even got the messages from the fake page that I'm about to talk about. So we finna try to make a long story short, but I like long stories. So y'all still got y'all snacks. Y'all still got y'all tea. We still sipping. Yes. We good? Mm-hmm. It's a check-in. <laughs> okay, so the next day, I mean, that later that night, I sent her a long text message, and it was basically saying, like, I appreciate you for reaching out to me. I appreciate you uh, going within and doing what God asked you to do and apologizing to me. And um, although I love that i can't continue to talk to you i can't continue to speak to you especially not while you're in the in the situation that you're in and i felt i told her i feel like god is calling us to really grow to really evolve (laughs) and you know if it was meant to be it would be you know what i'm saying and so i had to say my goodbyes that was it that was the message that was um at the beginning of april so like the first the april the first or something like that because like when she called it was the end of march so yeah a few weeks went by y'all i didn't hear from her everything going good and um it was like right when i got my hair cut i get a unknown caller call and i'm like oh lord so from the unknown caller call it was my ex and i'm like what girl she like come outside come outside Dang. she like come outside come outside she was like i mean i'm at your basically the place that i stay i was like no she not so i go if out- this ain't some blue face christian rock shit right here this shit sound like a fucking movie. How he just how she just show up at your <laughs> place and you just be okay with it. This sound like a movie. Like real. how he just showed up and now she changing the baby name and all that and, and all she type all of shit. Giggly. Yes, and telling the internet, <laughs> "I'm this is what I want to do." Da, 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 da. Outside, she like walk to the playground. I walk to the playground. Me, her at the playground, and we sitting there talking. Y'all, I was like flabbergasted that this girl found where I stay. And honestly, the little toxic part in me was like, yeah, you better get some get up and go about me. You know, you better find me. You know what I'm saying? It was the little toxic part tingling inside of me like, oh, shit. She done found me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> oh, this that, this that shit that you be talking about. It, it just wasn't, it wasn't giving what it's giving right now. It was giving like, okay maybe you're trying to put a little action in you know what i'm saying this person really understand that they fucked up i don't know my mind was all over the goddamn place but y'all feeling me okay so i go to the playground (laughs) bitch tell me why she drove all the way from atlanta here because i had blocked her and I sent her that message. I said, so you found me because I sent you that message and I told you I'm done with you. I, I, we, it is what it is, we moving forward with our life. She was like, yeah, because why you blocked me? Like, wh- why you blocked me? Like this, this, and this, like, bitch, I'm done. I blocked you. As we sitting there talking at the playground, guess who calling my phone? B. B. B calling my phone because her little highly intuitive ass because it's like anytime this motherfucker got near me she could sense it and I tell y'all B is like she's really in tune it, it, hey, she's really in tune and I like it I, I'm just like oh shit here you go again I don't want nobody to feel crazy in the way that your ass made me feel crazy so I answer the phone Oh, I didn't even say that part. I'm sorry, I skipped past it. When I was in the bathroom and I was on the phone with my ex, Brittany ended up calling back again when I lied and said I was on the phone with my daddy. She ended up calling back again and I ended up saying like, hey, I am on the phone with her. Um, We are talking and I'm gonna call you back when we get done. That's how we didn't end up getting on the phone to that night and then she she ended up coming to the house. So boom, now we outside, we at the playground and um, Brittany calls, I pick up. I'm like, hello? She was like, you with your ex? How do you know this? How do you know this? So I'm like, 
I'm I'm like in shock. Can y'all imagine that? Like picture yourself talking to your ex and your little new boo calling you and she know it and you trying to figure out how. Like picture it. Just just set the scene up in your mind. So I'm sitting here like, yes, but I'm gonna call you and I'm gonna let you know what's going on and we gonna talk about how it. How the fuck she know she with her ex? Somebody could have knew she was in town. See, we don't know what was going on. Like, Grams is oh, this. Oh, because don't Grams be posting stuff? Like, don't she be posting like, oh, I'm in Chattanooga. Oh, well, I'm doing this. I oh, know I'm she posts, but I guess I can't really speak on that because I'm not sure if she was still with Avery. If she was with Avery, I'm not sure if she would have posted unless she made it seem like she was going to visit her family or something. I don't know. Of course, Brittany is 26 years old, so she a little high head, and it's like, oh my gosh. And then on top of that, you, she already know what this motherfucker is trying to do. So yeah, she trying to prevent you know all of that. So just imagine being in her shoes. I put myself in her shoes, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. I, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Well, what does it matter if you just in? Was it in B words a piece of pussy? Like, what does it matter? If you just saw a little, a little something, because, something, because like, it ain't that. It's right, more to but it. Even Lily um, mentioned that in this yeah. video, they, they have feelings, feelings for each other. So we already knew what it was. But I just say that because you know, B, she likes to get on there and be like, "Y'all, like, I got, I got bitches. bitches." You know, like that's just a piece of pussy. No, we know you have the opportunity. <laughs> yes, but the thing is, is is you only fucking on Lily? Is you are you only dating Lily? Are you taking anybody else out? And Cause I, ain't it? Well, hasn't it been times where like Bia be on live or something like she be doing something and Lily will be like, like, like you know snatching her up? Yeah. So, girl, they in a relationship. So we'll talk about it. But I'm I'm talking to my ex and I'm like, you still causing shit. You still doing shit. So boom, she leave because she came up here talking about we finna discuss the car loan because y'all know the car situation and all of that. And that was just an excuse. She was like, I just used that email as an excuse to talk to you, this, this, and this. So boom. I think after that, it kind of made me a little interested or intrigued. Did y'all fuck? I still didn't talk to her after that, but she ended up hitting me up off of this fake page right here. And when she hit me up after the fake page, I'm like, I'm sick of you. Because she, she told me to listen to the song and how we used to communicate is through music. And so... And they still was communicating through music. When she put in, like, during that time, which, babe, maybe you could explain it better. During that time when she was uh, having them vlogs and people was like, I think Lily talking to her ex again. Yeah. During those vlogs when, when Lily was like, I got flowers and all that. Yeah, I think it was because of the titles that she was putting and then some of the old songs that she the was The music. Using. She was, yeah. They was communicating with each other. Yeah. Um, listen to it. And I think that did it. That got it. Now it's just like, oh shit. I think I'm gonna get wrapped up in this cycle again. And I really didn't want to. I had everything in me telling me not to, but I did not listen. And I fucked up. You fucked, I fucked her? up. Like, did I you? didn't listen. I didn't listen. <laughs> and I wanted to believe so. Oh, look, what it say? Uh. I'm literally stuck, shaking and crying. You gonna be mine again? This was so. This what Gramps was saying to her. Yeah, but like, this the same person who just told B I ain't trying to interrupt what you got going on, and that's why B was acting the way she was acting. Because the thing is, is what are you here for? Right, like, you're here to interrupt. You, That's why I be like, you, no, like you can't tell somebody I ain't trying to interrupt what you got going on, but you're trying to sneak in the fucking back door. You gonna be mine again? Alignment has to be right. No karma, no strings attached. Organic, natural connection. She's like, let me heart that girl. What's the name <laughs> of this fake um page? Cause y'all now she we know understand. Grams make fake pages. Oh yes, they probably got a whole bunch of we. It, I don't even gonna get into it. Love you. Good night. What's the name of the channel? Oh, the and then, hello, and then she replied, love you. Good night. 
And then the girls was like, eh, heart face. Like she said, love you. Look at this boy. <laughs> how she be acting. <laughs> it looks just like how she be oh, acting. Shit. Because whenever body having those like flat, I don't know what they say. Bad. I wanted to trust so bad that this person can really promise I'm activated, LOL. Can you post yourself on your story? I just want to see you. Is that what Graham's telling her to do? Yeah. So it's almost like she's trying to see how much she can control her and get her to do it's things. It's like, because now she knows that the door is still open. And let me see how much power I still got over your ass. Ugh. Damn, Lily. Was then I'll leave you alone so you can enjoy your notes. Learning and really nice. growing. And I just was like, in my mind, we gonna start off as friends. We gonna ride this thing out. And I kind of tried to convince myself that I wasn't doing anything wrong because I'm not in a relationship. Knowing that me and the person that I'm dealing with do got feelings for each other. But I feel like because I'm keeping it real, it's still not bad. And I think I put it in my mind because I'm going through things over here. I'm going through things over there. I'm just like, well, may the best man win. That's literally how I Maybe that's, that's why it was so uh maybe that's why it was so easy for her to give forgive Grams because she was like, Damn, I'm in the same situation she was in. But this is fucked up. It's like she's really I mean, and I don't feel sorry for B because B gotta under like work her own shit out and under find her own understandings of why she's even allowing herself to be used like this. Cause Lily just using her. You know what I'm saying? Like, get out the relationship with Grams. I'm, you, I hit you up or whatever. I don't know how they end up linking up, but I know they've known each other for a long time. And uh, apparently, B has had her eye on her for a long time. Yeah. So I use you as my rebound. We practically in a relationship. And then when my ex is done doing what the fuck she doing, she comes back to me. And I'm going to go put you over here on the dry line. And I can just throw you away just like that if my ex do the right things to bring my ass back. That's why you don't want to be a rebound. Or if you're going to be a rebound, you don't need to be sticking around too long and catching feelings. Because shit like this will happen. Yeah. And it's like, I know what they tell us, you know, but we can clearly see, like, what they tell us, it ain't all true. Because the thing is, it's like, now, do B know that she in this battle of the... <laughs> and like, 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 even though Lily said she, like, made the best man win, but did she ever tell them that? Yeah, but... It, yeah, yeah. You know, probably so not. So it's like, B, do they even know they in this battle right now? Yeah. So it's now, now they both trying to work hard to be the one to win, so to speak. To win So she got heart. two of them fighting over this is very selfish. I started to look at it. And now that I think about it, it's just like, it wasn't the right thing. And I could have handled that situation better a hundred times over. And I just had to learn from it. I just had to learn from it. I won't do that again. And so that started mm -hmm. the whole saga of me and my ex communicating. And baby, when I say communicating, look at the that's together but different houses oh no nah i told her a relationship is last of my worries lol girl trust me i know you lol nah you don't leave until you done secure the next bitch omg am i the next bitch grand said who my next bitch she said you securing me and then she said laugh my fucking ass off she said, and then Lee said, bitch, I'm trying to do a little wraparound. What's what a little wraparound? Do that mean fuck my, it? Because my head all over the place. These messages. We communicating. We going in. And now she done blocked that account. <laughs> can you believe that? That's crazy. When the, shit, I can barely see that time we had sex. When Oh, when the last time we had sex? We haven't uh, touched each other in two years. Uh, April 2021. April 2020. I hope it was a 21. That's, that was yeah, like, that's when they went I out of town. I never. Oh, damn, baby. Uh, I never imagined. Like, I couldn't imagine. Me either. 
That's crazy. Does that say that's crazy? I can barely see the resolution is kind of low. I like you said, Lily just like right. <laughs> and I miss you. You look real sexy today. Look at all that game, uh, Graham spitting to uh to Girl, Lily. This ain't no fucking game. Nah, I mean, but I'm just saying what her saying. Game uh, the is story you really have to work for. No, it. but I'm she saying ain't even having to work for. I'm it. saying based on the story she told B when she told B, you don't have. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to oh. get back with that. Like you ain't you ain't got to worry about that because I ain't trying to get your bitch back. And you spitting all this game to uh Lily and her little ear. I mean, she don't have to do much. She don't have to do That's much game true. for her. So you right on it. You ain't got to say too much. much from the look in your eyes. I, I can tell you want to fuck. You ain't got to come in. <laughs> I just want to fuck. I want to fuck too. It's I love yous. It's want to be back. It's me fucking either. I went a year and a half on purpose. Huh? Because I knew I was weak ass nigga for you. I'm sorry, what? I went a year and a half on purpose. Girl, I don't know. If we not mad at each other, we loving each other, no in between. Lily said, there's literally no fucking in between. Graham said, none. Lily said, and I can take it. And then Graham said, only madness and toxicity sneaking. And then, uh, they must have been horny. <laughs> and then Lily said, so it's like I need to get back mad. And then Graham said, yes, me too. I don't Not going to. I don't understand what's happening. Be back, but just be free. Hold on. I'm going to call you when I get my tattoo appointment at 3 p.m. Graham said, okay. And then Graham said, I really love Hands, you. But still. Like, really, really love you and can't wait to see oh, you. I don't know. Hug but, you, kiss you, and hold you. Oh, they fucked. So, but this is it. This is the same person who was saying she didn't want to be in no relationship. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, man. God, these motherfuckers I mean, because, me. but no, it's, it is very interesting how fast, um, because Grams did make a point about how fast, I mean, the people will flip side to side. So Grams presented her story. I guess Grams probably observed that, which is why she presented her story in the way she did, where it's like some truth to it, but she also flipped shit or left stuff out for people to assume and stuff. And granted, Lily, she did do some fucked up shit. So it gave her ammo. You know what I'm saying? Well, honey, I hope she um, giving her some more ammo. But, but what I found interesting, it's almost like, because she was able to shine light on this fucked up thing that Lily did, yeah. it's almost like people were forgetting what Grams did. Yes. I didn't get that. Like, somebody gonna send, send us a message talking about, um, I hope y'all react to this. Y'all owe her apology. I don't owe her what? shit. We still feel the, the same, same way. She did not leave her relationship. Y'all, what the fuck are we apologizing for? Like, she still left this girl, and, and she still dragged her through the streets and, and me, embarrassed the fuck out of her. And let me say this, too, because even... Now, this is why we were deep in Japan, having a good time. That's when Grams dropped the video, and she just showed at the beginning of the video her and Gra Lily sitting on the couch. You had so many people hitting us up. Oh, hell no. Nah, Y'all need to look at this. Look at what happened. And in my head, I'm thinking... Okay, so first and foremost, Avery, she was the first one that broke the news that Lily and Grams was talking back to each other. Sneaking, B, talking to her ex. B also, now B, when B said I was like, oh damn, they really talking to each other. B said it in her video yeah. that Lily and Grams even had low-key got back together low-key yeah. and that Grams lost her bitch again. So when we saw the videos of them sitting on the couch at the new place. Yeah. I was like, okay, these are the videos from during the time when they talked to each other. I'm like, what? what's the big deal? Yeah, because she already told She's just us. showing so what they already told like, us. If, if, B, if Avery said she was linking back up with her ex, if B said, yeah, yes, Grams and Lily have been talking again. Like, you got your bitch and you lost her again. Y'all, what did that look like in y'all head? Because when she dropped the video being in Lily's house, 
that's what it looked like to us like, when B said. I was like, it really I guess don't, the only it thing really that don't. was missing was a sex position. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it really don't take much to manipulate, I guess, the masses, I guess, yeah. when it comes to, like, this wave of people that watches. I was like, if I was a manipulative person, I could see how easy it would be to just do some shit. Yeah. But I'm not like that. <laughs> understand why we got this connection it's just it was a whole lot a whole lot a whole lot of right and so that brings us to when it's getting closer to may or june i can't really remember the timelines but the messages got them out here and my ex was expressing how you know she was gonna be coming down here you said both i miss you in both what both days i miss you too oh she was ready to get her pump on her I might come Sunday night. Be here for a week and leave Tuesday. I'm trying to figure it out. And I'm like, you still got what you got going on over there. Basically, both of us was sneaking and talking to each other. You know what I'm saying? And I and I have to be honest, like, cause that's what this is about. It's about being truthful. I have to be honest because in my mind, I was like, this is crazy how spirit will play things out, like how the universe does things. Me and my ex had a cycle in our relationship, and yeah. in that cycle, we broke up. Oh Lord, Graham said, get rid of mini me. ASAP, cause I'm gonna cause hell. Oh, uh, but why Lily laugh? Just being messy and petty, and this shit is fucked up. But hey, you don't tell me what to do. That's what Lily said. Graham said I won't. She said I don't believe shit you say. Uh, Graham said I'll let you just end up back in my face on your own. Fingers crossed, honey bee. Clear copy in march right we started going we would start going through things in march we didn't break up until april so but in march is when she started to cheat on me when march is when she started to talk to her now ex and so boom in march she started back talking to me now she's creeping with me on the ex that she cheated on me with. Do y'all get it? Is, is it making sense? I don't know. But it was like interesting and crazy. And it's always like, <laughs> okay, I'm seeing the cycle go full circle, if that makes sense. Like this motherfucker left me for you, went to you, not happy with you. Now doubling back to me and finna creep with me while she with you. And it was just a whole bunch, a whole bunch of right? but I let it happen, still didn't stop it. And I feel like that's just a part of my cycle and it was a part of my toxic makeup because- Right, it says, Roger that, see you later, LOL. Hannah, and then Grant said, Lewanta. And then she said, you really got a place and y'all breaking up? And then Grant said, I gotta come look at a few places next week. And yes, I have to do what's best for me. Um, uh, she said, Lily said, okay, we gonna see. And then Graham said, I'm taking your advice though. I appreciate you. I'm not really about to come raise hell for real, for real. I'm coming to be ducked off and focus on loving me. I need to get me a gym membership as well. I don't know why I'm making her voice so deep, but this is what it's giving right now. It's like she's in her masculine energy right now. <clears throat> I feel it. <laughs> yeah, she finna come dick her down. I, just why? But it is what it is. <laughs> so uh, she was telling me how she gonna be down here, all of this, and I'm like, okay, at this point, the messages are flirting. Yeah, okay, I'm getting into this. Uh, Graham said, I wanna go to bed so bad. LOL, we the same. I want to be in bed with you. I don't want to have sex on the first night. I just want to lay up and admire you. Damn! <laughs> what she say? Lily said, I'm into that. And Grant said, you down? And then Lily said, like we with dead ass Netflix and chill. Damn, Lily! Like she just, just head over heels for this little shit. Graham said, I just want to make you smile all night. Lily said, I'm down for that. 
Instagram said and talk shit about you put another bitch in my spot. How you put a Okay, uh blue face. <laughs> We already know what's gonna go on, and right. so when she came down here with her ex. Okay, let me read it first. You down? Okay, let me forget. I really wanna um. Oh, and talk shit about how you put another bitch in my spot. Lily said about how you made me do it and how you trying to prevent me getting another one. You literally like, oh no, I'll take my bitch back for a thousand Alex. Lily, you sound dumb as hell. <laughs> Graham said, loud motherfucker ass out. I really wanted you to explore for real, for real. Grant, I mean, Lily said, I know you did. You wanted to make sure I wanted you. Just went out of town. Um, the same way I was out of town. Girl, stop it. Anyways, yeah, what happened, happened. And when... Wait, uh, oh, wait. Wait. So you're going to show us the text messages and then just... just Whatever I mean, look, happen, happen with the set. you ain't got to go through detail step by step, but just don't brush over it. You know, she building us up, giving this folk play with these little messages and just going to brush over the shit like so, this. So I want to know, is this during the time she still, okay, so they still creeping. So she didn't fuck Grams while she fucking be. Well, we don't know if they were fucking per se. Most likely they were. Girl, she said, I want to go to bed with you. So is Grams, uh, I mean, hey, if that's what she doing, look, Lily had a wild life. Well, can you just you bag see? it up a little bit and let's see how she went over this speed bump again. Stop it. Anyways, yeah, um, the same way I was out of town, girl, out here flirty we already know what's gonna okay, go on and so when she came down here when her ex went out of town um the same way i was out of town girl stop it anyways yeah what happened happened so so avery was out of town avery was out of town but she said how she was out of town what was she about to say so what was she about she to tell saying us is grams did the same thing to her she said the same way i was out of town i guess so she was she lying her. to be when she said she was out of town because remember Graham said why she was out of town you was watching the dog or something like that girl i don't know this just is crazy it's like she's okay and when the week was over that she was down here what happened happened and I'm gonna let y'all put what y'all wanna put right there. She was supposed to go back home that weekend. They got into it, they broke up. And Cause that's when Avery knew that her ass was down there fucking on Lily. Mm -hmm. They haven't been back together since what happened happened. And so boom, now my ex is back here. What? That's why Avery said return to Simda. <laughs> <laughs> in Chattanooga. I wonder how Avery found out. Probably because Avery probably, well, you can always tell when your partner cheating ain't doing right. She probably was trying to, uh, she, she was doing the same thing to, uh, Avery that she did to Lily. Yeah, that's Remember what she Remember when she was out of town? Oh, that's, sorry. Yeah, I'm still jet lagged, so bear with me. Even if I wasn't, sometimes I still had these <laughs> My bad. But it's and, really bad now. Yeah, 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 it's bad. And it's like, okay, you back here in chat, but that don't mean nothing. After I did that, I had all these feelings over me of confusion and all these thoughts. And I'm like, no, this needs to be slowed down. First of all, you ain't even did nothing for me. You ain't even did this. Like, Graham said lies. Well, that's because I kept a job, crazy lady. And then Lily said, well, well, well. Grant said, LOL. Lily said, you just want to keep talking to me? And then she said, uh, LOL, you want to marry me? I feel like you do. And then Lily rolled her eyes. She said, you had your chance. Grant said, see, you don't want shit from me but to waste my time and hurt me. Ooh, she doing this um, narc stuff. That blue face shit. Ooh, baby. Uh -huh. You don't, it ain't just that easy. I'm not the same person. Like, well, girl, like, you should have been saying that before you, you was rumbling and tumbling, rumbling and tumbling in the bedroom. You should have been trying to see what she was going to do for you before that. Why do girls always make this mistake? They give up their body first. 
And like, you already knew what she was working with. You've been fucking it for eight years. Why? But you wanted to see if she got some new skills from over there with Avery? <laughs> and did she? <laughs> did she? <laughs> Ugh. Like, no, hold on. Pump your brakes. So I started setting boundaries. And I think it the was too late then. Girl, that's why I said she need a life coach. <laughs> Somebody, she can run some shit too. She but needs somebody. Is, Go, you about to say what? I she, but the thing is, she be trying to be sneaky. So it's like you can't have a life coach, you can't have a counselor if you ain't gonna be open and talk about every fucking thing. You can't be like, oh well, I'm gonna keep this to myself because I don't want them to judge me. Yeah, and that's exactly why I said, do she really want to be released from Grams? Because yeah. if not, she gonna do the sneaking and shit. Yeah, and it's just pointless, and that's why. It's is 2023. We got to see video. Was that 2014 when she was going through this shit? We in 2023. She still. She just a richer. She just a richer years. fool for grams. Yeah. They over there on Toxic Island, y'all. What yes. the fuck they got going on in chat? I did not know they had a reality show. And now they getting add new members to their little island. Yeah. Be on the island now. Avery was on it. She said, oh, hell no. Nah, I don't like this shit. I'm getting up off this island with my money, with my treasure chest, <laughs> with my clout and all that. See, <laughs> Having conversations with this person, I'm like really standing on these boundaries now. And this person is not liking the fact that I'm setting these boundaries. And in the midst of our conversations, I'm, she said, shared some truths. I shared some truths. She was telling me some shit about myself that I was like, damn, that is true about myself. And I was telling her shit about herself that that's just always been our relationship. And so I think that's how the quote unquote pillow talking shit happened. Um, it was really that I was just expressing what I was going on in my relationship the same way she was expressing what was going on in her relationship and the shit that she didn't like and, and all that. And Situationship, look at trying to clean it up. You know, I could have brought all that to the internet. I could have brought all of that over here and just been like, oh, the grass was not greener on the other side. That ain't that ain't how that's that's not who I've grown to be. It, it was no it was no competition. It had never been a competition. I was never in competition with no. I mean, like yeah, like it's not like we would expect her to get on camera and be like, whose sex was better? Like, was Grams better than B? B better than Grams? Like, who really wants to know that? Well, she already told us details about her and B when we was asking them questions in that truth to drink. Now, B done made her squirt. She ain't never did that before. How you know Grams ain't never... Oh, you said... Because she, she never told did that us before. she ain't never did that before. Oh. <laughs> and when she talk about the sex, she make it seem like this, this just hit different. Well, maybe, you know, that's young, freaky, wild sex. Maybe she just appreciate getting that, that old love Low sex. Roll like... Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, <laughs> it's slow motion. <laughs> this peace, love, joy, happiness, shit. I'm trying to go cool by y'all in the grass somewhere. I'm on a healing journey, and y'all apparently only with me. You this know, the longest healing journey I done ever seen. Baby. Boy, this motherfucker long as hell. She gonna be a, a old ass woman on this damn healing journey. Keep doing this shit. So, I'm like, shit, I done got myself in some shit, but now I got to see it through. Okay, and uh, that's toxic as fuck, that's grams, and to the people who going to be like, you know, healing, if that can be a lifelong journey, just, just, just save it. You really ain't even got to waste your finger juice, because I'm tired of seeing that shit too. It can be long, cool. But, okay, Graham said, is this another page or just a text message? So, but this is it. But how long, though? Because this is it. After, after you go to a counselor for so long and they talk to you, if you being open, even if they feel like they they can't help you, they'll fire your yeah, ass. Yeah, like I feel, right. Like, I feel like your healing journey that can be a lifelong thing because I'm still healing and just learning different things in my body but when I say uh, about who I am but when I say it's certain things that I learn once I learn it I move the fuck on and I can learn something else okay but think about this the girl you was just watching uh, that interview you was just watching mm -hmm. remember how her counselor fired yeah, yeah. yeah. remember how her counselor fired her she had though. several of them that, okay but yeah. get this 
also her mind does not work where you know she just really understand what the fuck going on what if it's a situation like that like what if this gonna be a forever healing journey well, then that's all are y'all willing life. like are the people willing nah. to stay on her with this I mean, forever healing journey i mean you gonna have people that's gonna ride like even like when this shit happened i was like Lily gonna be good. It ain't like she finna like lose all her followers and ain't gonna be able to operate. Like, cause the people who ride with her, like they gonna still ride with her. So if she gonna be in this loop of a, a healing journey with Grams for shit, since she an old ass woman, it, they, it's gonna be have people that's gonna still follow her because she still got other qualities yeah, to her that they like. It, yeah, cause even if she go back to Grams today people still gonna ride and see that's the thing if she wants to go back to Graham that is perfectly fine like if you want to be in that toxic relationship cool I think a lot of people just didn't like of course her lying or doing the double talking or the what they felt like was manipulation it's like you present kind of like the pain the champagne thing like you selling tickets for all this money to these people who coming to listen to you and you ain't even really doing the work yeah you know what I'm saying? So you like trying to sell your pain, you know, and make money. You're trying to monetize it, capitalize off of it, and you're faking behind the scenes. That's people see that as manipulative. Yeah. You know, and fake. And, and, and that's why they're saying she's lying. That's why they're calling and, her and, Lala. And motherfuckers don't like when you. They are calling you Lala, but motherfuckers don't like when you play in their face. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's cool now, but if you keep doing this, you'll build a reputation for yourself of just being like a a greedy person who try to just manipulate and, and uh, exploit people's weaknesses and sadness for these type of scenarios to make uh, to make <clears throat> a bag. Like always about the bag. But anyways, um, I don't even know why that picture of B <laughs> when they posted that picture of B having her hand on her ass i guess she had posted on her story just hearing all this it just make me just yeah because that when i saw that i was like that that don't that don't like nothing to brag on to me to yeah because she didn't already been fucked on right y'all just sure y'all a throuple at this point <laughs> but uh okay might as well right the same with Blueface and uh and Chris Sean and that uh Stewie girl. Yeah, mine as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, and that's toxic as fuck. Uh, Lily said yes. I did ask that. I don't need you coaching me. Ooh. Graham said tame your bitch before I do it, cause I don't mind telling Avery we fucked and been talking. Ooh, now here come the threats. What well, girl? Look, she went over, but she said we fucked, so we. Oh. <laughs> You missed that one. Yeah. I, I thought mean, you well, were gonna... <laughs> Yeah. Um, I don't have shit to hide just like you didn't in the beginning. Ooh. Every time you get on the phone with the bitch, she telling you how every life going. When she ain't reporting what the fuck I'm doing, tame it, your hoe. She said, K. She said, you too old. And then she said, K. What's your thoughts on that? It almost sounds like some abusive, like she didn't mm -hmm. went into that abusive shell and she just don't have her voice. Yep. So it's almost because like... Because she has something on her. Like, I have something on you now. Yeah. Like, we fucked. Yeah. Like, I got that. It's like, um, Papoose and, um... Girl, <laughs> if y'all seen that Remy Ma shit, like, comment below. How boy. Remy was looking. Yeah. Like, it's like that. Remy like, she like, shit. I done fucked up. Ooh. Yeah. You got to see it through, my boy. So it's just like, where is this going to take us? So we having conversations about just, like, being friends. I'm telling her, like, look, just because you here don't mean that you finna come fuck up what I got going on because your shit done motherfucking went to hell. You know what I'm what? saying? Wes. Pierre, you got set up. Because, like uh, Graham said, we gonna sneak. Yeah, we sneaking, but Grams don't mind telling Avery that y'all fucked. They was probably already on bad terms anyway. Right. That's you probably the one why who Avery got shit. was gone. She the one who got shit to lose. Because she not only do not, she don't want B to know, you also don't want the internet to know to fuck with your brand. Like, girl, you put yourself in such a vulnerable position. This girl started. 
that that ain't got nothing to do with me and you gonna get and in where you fit in because I'm a woman. Okay, what did it say? Uh, Graham said, see, yeah, you confusing me. And then Lily said, you got to show me better than you can tell me. I'm not the same me I was. Just because I love you, I understand you ducked me uh, up with how we ended. Fuck me up with how we ended. Then how am I supposed to take you serious? And as soon as you get mad at me, you telling uh, how you miss her, huh? Um, and then Graham said, girl, when you mad at me, you go fuck her and eat crab legs. <laughs> That's so petty. So she got mad at her and went and told Avery she miss her. Is that what she's saying at the end? Yeah. And then she <laughs> said, when you mad at me, you go fuck B and, and eat, eat crab, crab legs. <laughs> what, what happened to the lobster? Did the lobster slow up? Uh, I mean, not the lo- the lamb chops, my bad. Uh, okay, so Lily said, girl, because I had something going on before you got here. You think just because you left your bitch, I'm supposed to automatically leave what I had going on alone because you done had a revelation and want me the fuck back now? Now you miss me? I mean, now you miss you? Now you want me? Now you want to marry me, girl? She girl, played you your been ass. Saying this for you gave the right, up. cause she has something on you now. That's why when Grams was on that podcast, she had that smirk on her face, looking like that. Like, go on, go on, bring Lily on the show. She's dangling this shit she got over your head now, girl. This girl. was a play. You got played. And I hope she ain't playing herself twice, because what if B exposed her? Girl, that's just going to be ugly. Well, hopefully she is exposing everything right now. Hopefully this is her strategy. So no one has anything to expose you. Because it's kind of like this. The shit is out there now. Whoever going to rock with Lily, they going to rock with her. Whoever ain't, they ain't. But now since it's out there, do Grams have anything else over her head? If she do, girl, you better go ahead and just put that shit out there. I know, in this video, because we getting she close didn't re- to the end. Yeah. Child. I have standards. I have grown, and I'm not the same Lily that you are used to and who you were used to dating. In which way would you say she's grown, though? I, I mean, don't... besides her bank account, <clears throat> in, in which way would we say that she's grown? I don't know. Maybe it's certain things that she do say, like, because she said she was learning boundaries, so maybe she is starting to put certain boundaries in place. But I think maybe the way she handled Grams, she didn't use her boundaries in the right way. She used them after the fact. She should have been using them before. Yes. And I don't understand why her pussy was so hot. If B been over there dicking her down, she should have just went and fucked B. That's what she should have did. If she was all hot and horny, but and she looked, because she was hiding it anyway, she should have just went and fucked B and just imagined in her head she but was fucking But it's different grams. type of sex, and she probably just couldn't resist it. You got new sex, you got breakup and makeup sex, and you got that sneaking sex. And she was finna get that sneaking and the makeup to break up sex. So that's like a duh, that's a combo. Yeah, but she done had all that shit before. You see what I'm saying? And it ain't like it's with a different person. I see if she was fucking somebody different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So Graham said, I blocked you back on IG. She said, I blocked you back on IG. I don't have time for none of y'all. I'm going to tell Avery everything she needs to know so she can repeat it and break B heart. Since she want to since she want to watch her so much, my own friends ain't even reporting shit Avery do. Look at Lily. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Grant said, because they respect my journey. You and B really irking me with this shit. And then Lily said, I'm blocking everybody. Lily yeah. probably was panicking right here, boy. You should have did that in the beginning. <laughs> Grant said, yes, because you believe any and everything. And you do. Yeah. You do. Um, Lily said, you don't think I'm annoyed? And then Grant said, you can't be. Lily said, no, I don't. If you want to date me, that's that's earned, you know? And so basically, I'm in a situation where both of you 
need to put in work because I don't want to be in no relationship. I'm Girl, it's what not work like... is she putting in? Girl, she just the receiver. That's what it sounds like. Okay. I'm not ready to be in a relationship. I'm not here for all that. Do I have love for you? Yes. You know, but it just seemed like she just need to let both of them go. Because if you've been over here with B for two years and you still saying there's some shit going on with her, they got you not wanting to be in a relationship. Now your toxic ex then came back and you already know how that can be. And you're probably seeing some of the same toxic signs. So now you like and we don't trying know. to set up boundaries at a later time. It's really like she just needs to be done. If she don't want to be in no relationship, stop fucking with both of them because both of them clearly want to be in a relationship. But check this out. So we already know Lily is also toxic. We don't yeah. know how her, tox her toxic ways is are displayed. We don't know what type of sweet nothing she has. Like how Grams has like literally rooted herself it feels like in uh lily's brain yeah we don't know how lily has rooted herself in b's brain yeah what triggers she's learned of what insecurities we've learned about b because you've been watching b's videos yeah. i haven't watched them yet but i know you mentioned something about lee i mean b saying like i need to be more confident in myself i need to believe in myself more yeah. like just that little glimpse makes it feel like b may have some insecurities that Lily could have picked up on and have made some plays on it and she could be doing some some grams shit to be yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah and be young too yeah. and Lily going and fucking hunting doing all that shit and 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 trying to help her with a business and stuff and you know what i'm saying yeah so we don't know like if b did want to leave what type of shit b i mean Lily would do to try to manipulate b into staying that, and then if you notice, like just how like Grams and Lily was like, I blocked you, I blocked you. Her and um, B did the same thing, yeah. and we don't know who started that toxic shit with them. Right, so, she could have been doing that with her and too. Hopefully, because you know Grams always try to say, oh, I'm not a narcissist, oh, I'm not manipulative, oh, I don't throw my rock and hide my hand. Y'all just watch how this whole thing played out, so y'all can see like that was some toxic shit. Now yeah. we can't. So if B do decide to uh, make a tell-all, then maybe it'll give us more of a glimpse on how Lily displays her toxicity. Yeah, because we already know she's toxic as well. Yeah, yeah. I just feel like I, I said it in. Go ahead. I hope you don't forget it. I hope not either. But you don't want to say it now. No. You know. So that's just where that was, and that's how that went. And over time, a lot of shit end up happening. A lot of conversations end up being had. And, you know, I was trying to help people be on their journeys and help people grow. And I realized so. I mean, how uh, can you how? help somebody when you're not even whole? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, because see, this is it. <laughs> it's almost like the blind leading the blind. That's what it's like. Because for me to listen to you, like motherfuckers who I listen to, they have already done the work and they're living in it. They're living in the work that they have done. Why would I follow somebody that's not even listening to the stuff that they spewing? But when when I saw that clip uh, in our Discord, if you're not in our Discord yet, click the the link will be in our description. But when I saw the clip when Lily was saying that she gave the family member advice, relationship advice at that. And then it blew up in her face. I'm like, what fucking sense does that make? I don't even know why the, the family member was asking Lily for advice, relationship advice. Or was she just trying to vent? Because at the end of the day, what sense does it make for me to get advice from somebody who ain't displayed success in that area? Yeah, or who ain't even in a good relationship. Right. Like, for me to listen to you talk to me about a relationship, I need you to be in a successful one. Yes. One that's thriving, one where I can see the love, one where I can see the growth. It's like, that's the type of person I'm going to listen to. Now, it's almost like you being married, and going and talking to, to your a single, single person, person about what you going through in your like, marriage. What sense does because that fucking make? Because what they're going to give you is single person advice. They're not going to be able to give you 
married life advice. But then you look at her comments and there's people, a whole bunch of people like, yes, Lily, still, you can give advice. You can do, I'm like, you know what? This must what it be what it looked like with celebrities have all of these yes men around yeah. them where they don't have anybody the fandom shaking them Latisa. yes like Loving y'all Latisa. sound dumb like <laughs> i wouldn't want none of y'all around me how can i grow if y'all always telling me shit i want to hear yeah and let me just say this because i know that um it is and i'm just gonna say it and you don't know that i'm finna say this but i'm gonna say it oh and 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 then you you just said that gonna make me touch on something else okay y'all i'm about to load the clip okay (laughs) so i know that there's a reaction channel that's out there that like to say me and nick like to pick sides right they like to say, and this came out twice. It, it came out twice. Um, I think obsessed. No, not even them. It's another couple that just recently, uh, I guess, going through a divorce. I know, forget one of them said, these are people that are supposed to be unbiased. But when people say that, and to that reaction channel, this is what unbiased look like, right? Really watching y'all, y'all look like, Looney Tunes, like it really lets me know that me and Nick, y'all, we're cut from a different cloth. Y'all will never, ever be able to give advice the way that we give advice. Can you point stuff out? Yeah, you can point stuff out, but this is the thing. You can't sit on your channel and say that you're going to give unbiased advice when you cannot stop drinking from the Graham's Kool-Aid. Not one time have we seen your ass hold Graham's accountable. You say you will, but we ain't seen it. Now, as far as us, we will talk about the good things that we see in people. We will talk about the bad things. We have done that with Graham's. We have done that with Lily. We have done that with Avery. We have done that with, with B. Doc. We have done that with P. We have done that with B. Like, y'all, we straight across the motherfucking board. Like, what? So, stop saying that. Y'all, you sound dumb as hell. That's why people like, what you saying don't make sense. And then the other thing is, but the people that always try to make it seem like Nick control me. Baby, Nick don't control me. Y'all should be able to see... Carla pop her shit when she wants to pop her shit because there are times that I really be like I'm 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 over this shit and I'd be like I need to go ahead and load the clip people so that's what I'm you? people will say that like oh watch how Nick Carla pause it watch how Nick don't let her finish watch how Nick hurry up and press play because before Carla finish what she's saying y'all that's not what it is we don't operate like that this is like we just don't move like that nick don't control me now do we respect our relationship we respect our relationship but y'all can't sit up here and look at shit as far as pause in the screen nick press and play because what we really try to do is if it's a long video we really try to like cut it down that's why i let y'all know this one gonna be long yeah we try to like be like okay let's try not to talk but then sometimes me i can't get long-winded especially like when i feel like i'm receiving a message or i really need to get my point across right so nick don't control me baby i do whatever i want to do if nick controlled me I wouldn't have said what the fuck I just said because for real, don't nobody want to give your ass no attention because you sound delusional. I don't, I, that just don't sound right to me. Like y'all see my wife and how she is. Like who really thinks I'm out here controlling Carla? Like, I got to make sure I, happen. Yeah. never <laughs> in my life have I been in a controlling relationship. It just, the person that I am, the shit just ain't going to happen with nobody. Even if you felt like, oh, she need to be with somebody who going to tame her. It ain't going to happen, baby. Even if you felt like you could do it. Even if you felt like she need to be with a man's man. A man man can't do it. I done been with one before. It ain't going to happen. When I get ready to pop my shit, I'm going to pop my shit. Hey, okay? I'm tell you now, everybody can't handle a woman like this boy. And that's why Nick be telling y'all that. Oui. I be, and I tell y'all, it takes a special person 
to handle me. And a lot of times, Nick is the calm to my motherfucking storm. Yeah. So much about myself I, I realized so much about myself and I think I just discovered even more about this person so then we get to where I'm going to Mexico now and I already had said in my mind in Mexico that I wasn't gonna be talking to nobody my whole mindset going to Mexico was if you didn't put in on this trip you're not talking to me while I'm on this trip <laughs> but, yeah that almost sound like uh how sometimes when me and my wife are we going getting ready to go out of town or out of the country or something and we'd be like okay we're gonna try to really do good on our diet and not eat you know no too crazy <laughs> Uh, if it ain't this, this, and this, I ain't gonna eat it. Boy, you get out that country or out that state, boy, it goes down. Yeah, but that's even, you might think that you got a plan. It's the same way like how we just went on our trip. And me and Nick was thinking, oh, we're gonna be able to keep the same um, eating no, habits that we had. And when we got there, majority was, of their fruit was GMO. Yeah, it was just, we, the conditions that they live in, it didn't work for us, right? It was just like the fruit was not. It, yeah. was, it, it was. It not, was weird. Hopefully, I'll be was, able to. I don't it's know. It's like we had a good time. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong, but again, we couldn't do the things we thought we were gonna be able to yeah, do. Yeah, they're definitely. So follow our blog channel, Nick and Carla Vlogs, to check out the J Japanese vlog uh, when I eventually edit and update, upload it. Because I feel like I work damn hard. I work hard to do what I have to do for myself, for my children, to provide the life that um, I want. And that was another thing, too, I thought about, too, like how Grams was trying to say, oh, you know, I love the kids. Even though I don't have a connection with the kids, um, I really care about them. But I was like, do you really care about them? Because you're blasting the mom, the mother of the kids. And this is like one of her probably big ways of making money. Mm -hmm. You don't give a fuck of how this could affect her brand. What if the, you put all that stuff out there and Lily just lost all her followers and all her money and all that stuff and could barely take care of her kids? Then she would have had to depend on her again. There would have been another way for them to communicate, to bond, for them to work shit out together without anybody else Ooh, being in that little bubble. Up. That is fucked <laughs> up. To have that I'm living in... I just felt like I wasn't getting what I deserved out of life, out of the people that I was allowing into my life. So I wasn't set on talking to no one in Mexico. However, I ended up. Oh, you missed it. Oh, just hit the uh, the fan. Oh, okay. It's not on. The but phone. no, okay. I'm gonna rewind it. Okay. Sorry, y'all. She trying to turn on the air. How y'all doing? Oh, uh, how long this video about? <laughs> and this motherfucker. Let me see. This motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Oh, we had two hours and seven minutes. Oh wow. Oh, okay. Treat it like a podcast. Yeah, treat it like a podcast, y'all. <laughs> if you hear us saying some shit and you're like, been here two weeks. Look, if y'all hear us say some shit and y'all like, oh, I need to see they face when they do. Yeah, come back, come yeah. To the stream, treat like to the a podcast. Set on talking to no one in Mexico. However, I ended up still answering. Um, Facebook messages from my ex and I communicated with her. We talked and even while I was in Mexico, she was like, you should have told me. I will, I'll, I'm going I'm, I'm to take you back there. I want to take you on a birthday trip. This, 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 and this. Like, you know, you keep setting it up in these messages because I noticed how she was texting. Like, you, I, I love y'all. I got to see what that message say. Go Type back a little in bit more. She was like, you should have told me. You, you fake as fuck for that. I'm gonna book us a trip back there. Send me the prices. Girl, not her trying to be like, I got some money. Where's she working at, I wonder? To come up on the job that's, uh, that just lets you uh, book shit like that. Yeah, uh, she just know what she wants. Right. Again. She just... And leave it like... Okay, uh, leave it said, oh my. Type in hotel... Yeah, <laughs> I, I I don't got no service, but it's let me message you. Dang, girl, know exactly what to say to get well, the I'm, 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 I'm. Okay, she said, Graham said, okay, your birthday, and probably in Graham's head, she probably know good and fucking well by the time of your birthday, which is now, uh, 
that she uh wasn't even planning on being cool with you like that because she knew she was gonna blow your shit up. Well, I don't know if she knew <laughs> that yet. She, look, she was already like, threatening her. Look, she did make that threat, but <laughs> but you made me forget my thoughts. My bad. I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna give you some head for that, okay? You back there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Grant, Lily said I should have tell. I shouldn't have tell you. I want to take. You should have just been like, I. You on a birthday trip? This, 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 and this. Like, you know, you keep setting it up in these messages because I noticed how she was texting. Like, um, Grant said I don't want a relationship. I wanted us to have clarity that doesn't have to come with anything after we gain it. Let me, y'all, just for a second. Why are people that saying that they don't want to be in a relationship? Why are you doing relationship shit? Why are you putting yourself in situations to have a situationship if you don't want to be in a relationship? You guys, this like, is what manipulation looks like. But I get it. Like, I get, oh, well, how are you going to date? Like, you got to date. So my thing is this. When I didn't want to be in a relationship, I wasn't fucking with nobody. I wasn't trying to entertain nobody. I know it looked different for everybody. So my thing is, is do you not want to be in a relationship? You just want to play around right now? Because, or is it that, no, I really need to get my shit together. That means you need to be by yourself. And uh, if Graham's wanted to, really wanted to set boundaries for herself, then she would have made it to a point to not sleep with Lily until she had things set in place for like therapy or whatever the fucking reason was that she left Lily to begin with. Now I see why they was dropping them videos and there were Grams grinding in front of the mirror. She was like, yeah, I was getting you this good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Graham said, when you spend 10 years with the person, that's the most mature thing to do, but you'll never get it. I did move on with my life. You always so try speaking or engaging in mature conversations with make you it. doesn't mean I'm backtracking, love. Was it? Okay. Clear that you said. I really be feeling like I'm talking to a negative person in my comment section when I talk to you. In a relationship. That, but yeah, you trying to, you arguing with me because you're talking about you been here for a month and you only seen me twice. You don't have to see me at all because you're supposed to be over there doing your work. You're supposed to be working on yourself. You're supposed to be working but this 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 is what i'm saying how can you listen to somebody that's telling you what to do when they not doing it so how she expected graham like how she just said you ain't got to see me at all because you're supposed to be over there doing your work so lily when are you doing your work okay graham said i want you to be sane reasonable rational and real but that's not possible you're so wrapped up in your internet life till the point you came telling me to be quiet on the internet but what do i know enjoy your day lily said i didn't come telling you to be quiet on the internet because you have a right to do whatever you please i see you and i see where you could use more understanding and healing in the areas you be trying to cover you haven't been processed you haven't even processed what you went through and how you even got to where you got to act the way you acted when it came to you and avery you shouldn't even be trying to discuss anything regarding a you know evolving it's not for us to see each other and i was like you're not allowed in my energy you know like no so i was definitely setting clear boundaries but i had to go through the bullshit in order to get to that I nah it's almost like i don't know correct me if i'm wrong it almost feel like grams had lily like in a vulnerable like like a position because okay i I got you to a point where I fucked you and we're we've been doing stuff that you haven't even told your internet your internet life or mm -hmm. be yeah. so yeah you saying I'm setting boundaries no I think really you low-key scared like low-key like I don't want her to expose me let me try to play a little nice well, you don't, I don't think so so this is it I don't think like once you make a decision to do something and and I'm just saying this because that's why I say Lily is relatable even when I did fucked up shit, it was just kind of like, whatever come behind this, come behind this. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to deal with it. And I'm pretty sure she had that thought. 
and her hate. But like, I'm just thinking about even wanting to deal with what's going to come with it. Like, uh, is, um, this, is this around the time I got to get ready to deal with this shit blowing up and her exposing that we've been fucking and all this stuff? Yeah, but it was like she wasn't, she wasn't thinking clear. So she did put herself in a vulnerable position to get exposed. But I think when she made the decision to sleep with her, hopefully, hopefully she had that thought. And she was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, whatever happened, happened. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people be on, really on some YOLO shit, you know? Mm -hmm. I had to go get in that shit and learn. And, yeah, that's how I, I got to August. And so while I'm in Tulum, y'all, I am having a time. But spiritually, I'm searching within. Spiritually, I'm trying to get answers. Spiritually, I'm just like, I want to know if I need to be done with this. And if I'm finna like, I need to, I need God to please. The prayer was, God, please remove anything and anyone who is in my life or trying to enter my life that is not here, but my greatest and my highest good. You should, okay. You know, and so that caused me to get stuck in Mexico. Um, and while I was in Mexico, I was even there for my ex, like trying to console her through her things. Like it was crazy, y'all. I, I just feel like if you watch me and you know my heart, you know when I genuinely care about somebody, I care about them. And I, I, I keep using the example when it comes to, uh, everybody keep asking me, well, how could you love somebody that embarrass you on the internet? Well, girl, y'all is getting embarrassed without being on the internet, okay? My life is public mm -hmm. and you can say all day that you wouldn't be. It's like, you can't just let that be a defense, like dismiss it in that way or try to flip it like, y'all being embarrassed off the internet because I'm just gonna be honest like it only took that one time and I was young as hell when that little girl broke my little heart in high school and that's all I needed and like I never had a moment of like spinning a block or repeating when somebody do something really fucked up to me so it's like not everybody is getting misused and abused for years yeah, but I guess and, I don't understand it and I I know these people in the comments are not counselors that's kind of like telling your counselor like yeah. you can't tell me what to do i'm gonna do what i want to do but you coming to me for counsel yeah so it's like how can you know or how it, it, it's just like she not receptive. so rather than trying it's the to... same way how she got mad at me and you know about the statement that i made when it was definitely truth there that's why it that's why she got mad about it so sometimes some of the things that people leave in comments don't mean that they're trying to make you feel no type of way, but it's like, girl, take the blinders off. Yeah. It's almost like you got them blinders on that they put on horses when they race it. Yeah, I think that's also another thing that limits, um, that can limit your growth. Like when someone says something that triggers you, rather than trying to flip it or like insult or, you know, come from an egotistical way, uh, way it's kind of like maybe try to actually answer that question. Like somebody's like, how could you go back to something that did you like this and did that and did that rather than trying to flip it like and be like well i'm sure you did it too like actually see if you can answer that question yeah, but even if the other person did it too that doesn't make it right yeah so that means that a change needs to happen so i'm saying so the who's growth gonna who's gonna make the change so are you gonna sit here and are you gonna be an example like you say you're gonna be yeah, so I'm saying like the growth, it really can come from if she maybe can try to figure out that answer. It's kind of like we had a situation where when we were new at reacting, we were reacting to the trans, like transgender world, the transgender world community. And I guess like we were saying uh, some offensive things, even my title was offensive. And uh, a transgender, uh, Z, she uh, left a comment and she like went in and she's ironically a Libra. And I instantly wanted to just like fire off and just be irritated and like use my ego. Cause again, I'm a millennial and we don't like people telling us, you know, when we in the wrong. Thankfully, Carla was like, hey, like, hold up. Like, look at this from a different like point and like yeah. try to answer some of these questions, try to figure some of this out. And that growth came out of that. I actually gained a friend out of that. Yeah, because basically what I told Nick is and I think a lot of people, when they are in our community or when you first, like, say, for instance, if you're new in the community, 
um, like Zasha, when she was like, she didn't want to make a mistake and say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing. All I would say this is that we don't, I definitely not mean, we don't know everything. So if somebody is telling us we're doing something wrong, let's be open for that conversation so we can grow, yeah. you know? Yeah. Be with somebody after they public embarrass, publicly embarrassed. But that don't mean you won't occasionally get popped off on. I'm just gonna have to still tell you. I still got it in me. I still <laughs> but I do too. We still may pop off on you. So if you've gotten popped off on, hey. Is you got your stripes. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not in the public, so you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would never know. And I get it. You you want to be like, you was a dummy, bitch. Look, I even said this in my text message right here to her. Like, I was like, either we got, I'm a met my match, you really my person, or I can officially say, you one of them or miss them or anything what is the thing with you either i'm for real in love and done met the love of my life or i can officially say uh use a dummy bitch in monique voice to myself in the mirror uh graham said laugh my fucking ass off all of the above for both of us though we can either be dumb for chasing these emotions we have for each other and then graham i mean lily said lord I love that we can communicate though and that we are setting boundaries. And I love that you realize what you wanna be for yourself so that if we do work out, you can be your best self for me. I definitely want to be my best self for the person I marry. In my clearest Monique voice, use a dummy bitch in the mirror to myself because what is this? What is this? You know, like this is what I was asking. And so getting to being stuck in Mexico and like getting into that argument with her when I was like, you keep lying. I says, uh, Grant said, okay, you have to focus on your relationship. It's time. I tell you this over and over. You got who and what you want. And if she make another caption dedicated to me, I'm hurting her feelings. I'm done sparing feelings. And she just made able to talk like that because she got some over mm -hmm. Lily said, first of all, everything you say be a shot at her too. So don't try to play that. I saw the caption and ignored it, but you keep throwing shots about the very thing you just said. I'm with somebody I don't even want. Ooh, I'm not in a relationship. I have to focus on me. It's definitely time for that. And it's time for me to release you from my energy for good. I'm not worried about who you're with. I'm not worried about if you got bitches or not. I don't care. I could care less because I'm doing me, you know, and I'm 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 doing me. So, but Grant Lily said it doesn't matter because I'm done. I'm done. Everything always about a bitch with you. You can't even get your shit together without being in a bitch space. You will never change, and that's just who you are. You was in a whole ass Atlanta and could have fucked with any bitch, but you come back and chat to make matters worse. Graham said, you don't know nothing about what I got going on. You got a whole bitch you don't want. Lily said, you don't know what I want or who I want. Just know I don't want your ass. Didn't she say she would have bitch she don't want? Oh, what she saying? Avery, I mean, Graham's was saying that. Okay, Graham know. said, LOL, okay unwanted piece of information. Lily said, these honestly just been a lack of consistency with us since we started this shit in August 2012. It's August 2023. It'll never get right. I did not appreciate the lying and the lying kept showing me that this is a part of your character. This is who you are. And I did not like that. And Graham says, stop playing on my top. Lily said, nobody's playing on anything but you. You always the victim, always thinking somebody trying to shit on you or go against you. I ain't did shit but the same thing for the last 10 years and that's try to convince you that I've always been in your corner. I'm done. You get too fucking emotional for me and get the big head like you really doing something. All in all, you a hater and you mad because I ain't wanna fuck with your ass in the way you wanted me to. 
you're lame as fuck for how you've been moving and what you've been doing and it's really giving hater it's done been there for me in ways you ain't ever I'm sorry did she said be them been there for me in ways you ain't ever then showed up in ways you could never Mm-mm. added fuel to the fire and it was disappointing so it was just like you keep beating around the bush just say you talking to somebody you know what i'm saying like how can we even be friends and you can't be honest it was like giving weird and i ain't like it and i was like oh no i gotta cut this off at the head so for me that's why i was keeping things private and if you watch my vlogs you know for months i kept trying to give y'all hints like i'm going through it i'm this i'm that and i was going through it in different areas of my life with my family with my friends, but that was a major thing that I kind of wanted to be vulnerable about, but I felt like, no, it wasn't time. It wasn't time. And I can say in all of this, you know how like, when it came to um, coming to YouTube two years ago, when I exposed my truth then um, about the breakup, I feel like it's whoever gets to this internet here first, that's who the internet favors. But the truth is always gonna be the truth. The truth is gonna be my truth. The truth is gonna be her truth. We all have our own truths in this. And I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect person. There's some things that if I could go back and I could fix them, I definitely would. Um, however, I fix them now, you know? I'm human, I'm a person, I'm Lily. I'm fixing them now. That's what we are on this journey for, to learn and to grow. And it's hard when you're giving somebody genuine love, when you really had genuine love in your heart for them. And I always use the example of like, you know, people being on drugs and are you married to a person that's addicted to drugs and the drugs just constantly taking over their life and they taking over their well-being and you kind of just got to let them go and be free. And you got to understand that that's going to be a, a that's gonna be a process between them and God. You can't fix them, you can't change them, you can't make them be who you want them to be, you can't take the addiction away. You just have to know how to love them for them through their process, but you can also love them from a distance. And that's what I'm learning here. Like, sometimes these spirits get attached to people because they see the calling that you got over your life. They see what you're doing. They see the path that you own. They see that you're growing. And they know that by using this, it can get to you and break you back down. And I had to go through that to grow through that to learn, you know? And I'm not afraid to admit that. I'm not scared to show that. And yeah, it is what it is. I feel like when it comes to my ex, like it was people coming up to be that's friends of hers, giving information, telling her, like giving her the messages, then gave the girl address away. Like the people around us really shape our environment, really shape our life. And what we decide to indulging matters so i get why why everybody was so upset because they like dang girl i had so much faith in you i had so much love in you i i just i was here for you i'm hurting with you like golly i see it. i see the potential in you and everybody just wants you to do better and i think that same grace that i be extending to myself that same grace that i want from god is the same grace that i give to people who i love whether that be friends, whether that be relationships, whether that be family members, I'm just a person that extends grace. And I kept going to God about it, but I think that spiritually I was blocked and I kind of just was operating out of my flesh. And you know, for that, I do apologize. Um, it's like, I can't say sorry, cause I had to go through it to learn it. But yeah, like how I handled it, I definitely am sorry. Um, and I, I never have the intention to hurt anybody. Like, I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't even want to hurt the people who hurt me. Hurt people hurt people. Misery loves company. And I'm not miserable. 
I'm happy. I'm walking in my purpose. I'm doing what God put me on this earth to do. And with that, um, I just want to follow God's lead. You know, that's it. And I, I try to show up as Lily all the time. I'm me. <laughs> yes, I'm godly. Yes, I'm spiritual. Yes, I'm ratchet. Yes, I cuss. <laughs> it is what it is. You're going to get truthfully who I am at the end of the day. And so when people come and they try to, you know, break your character, they try to um, paint another picture of who you are. And you just have to let people be people. And I've decided I'm gonna let people be people. So that's the end for me. Like, you know, I never got on this platform and said like, oh, I would never talk to my ex again. I'm never doing this, I'm never doing that. I never said that. Because mm -hmm. I knew if a person came at me to write. I'm just thinking about what you said. She did say that in her first videos. Like, don't get me wrong. I know she was probably, you know, emotional um, because everything was still so fresh, but she did say that. She said, we not going to be together. Well, we already know she double talking sometimes and she lies sometimes. So. Right way it would be this and it's why I didn't get in a relationship either because I knew I still had unfinished business. And I think there's uh, again, yeah, but uh, still fuck, uh, oh, go go ahead. Ahead. I'm and I was just, I still think it's fucked up because in the messages she said, I'm with a, did she say I'm with a person I don't want? Yeah. Uh, Grams even said you're with a person you don't want. And it's then like, she said you don't, yeah. why? Like, why, I want to say, why keep holding on to B? Why not just let her go? But the thing is, B, obviously, where she wants to be. So it's like, they done built up a whole little toxic mess. Yeah. But it's like... I guess my thing is, if you saying that's why you didn't get in a relationship, and it's like I she, guess I'm I'm wondering, like, she, was she up front with B and said, you know what, I don't want to get in a relationship because I think it is a chance that we might reconcile. Was she up front would be like But that? I feel like that's gaslighting to a certain extent because at the end of the day, y'all are in a relationship. It's like y'all behaving like a couple. You cooking yeah. for, y'all fucking, y'all, you know, falling in love with each other or catching feelings, whatever you want to call it. It's just, just because you're not calling a relationship, it's still a relationship in my opinion. Yeah. I guess I still want to know like it, did she set those type of boundaries when she was talking to her no, she, and then is that why b was okay with it was b just kind of oh, like as I'm, far as uh like saying this not a relationship i don't want to do that da, 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 da. no was she like was she honest with her how she just said the reason she didn't get in a relationship because she knew that it was a chance that this person did the right thing that they could get back together oh. so was she honest in saying that with them because if somebody told me that i'd be like Bitch, we was fucking like the fuck is good, but I'm gonna let you figure this shit out. Yeah, I think she was. Um, I think B knew, like that. Uh, I don't know. I'm, my brain is too tired. It's getting tired now, for real. <laughs> All right, let's finish this up. You know, I felt like I still had unfinished business, but now mm -hmm. the unfinished business is with myself. The love that I've tried to give others, the love that, and the grace that I've extended to others, I am wholeheartedly extending that to myself. And yes, I please. pray that God continues to guide me on this journey and walk with me as I walk in my truth and my purpose and that I continue to set these boundaries and stand on them and stand in them. So y'all stay tuned for another episode of Truthfully. I hope you enjoyed my truth. And yeah. <laughs> and one last thing before y'all go. To my ex, I just wanna like, I wanna say like, I see you and our whole journey, I've seen you. And the good times were greatly appreciated. There were some amazing times throughout our journey. And there has been some very bad times <laughs> throughout our journey. Either way, I appreciate the lessons. I appreciate the growth. And, you know, it is what it is. Y'all, I thank y'all for tuning in. I thank y'all for watching this long. If you've stayed here throughout this whole talk, because y'all know that I can be 
lengthy. Um, and I hope that you guys stay locked in with me throughout this journey because I feel like it's really, really, really just beginning. I have some more things to come for y'all. Um, and I just, I just want to be me, you know? So I thank y'all. I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see y'all on the next episode of Truthfully. Okay? All right, guys. Well, girl, I truthfully want to know why your brother ain't coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I truthfully want to yeah. know. If y'all, as a matter of fact, if y'all made it this far um, in the video, Ooh. drop below a clown emoji. Now, um, this is what I want to say. Um, if you remember this Saturday, if everything go according to plan, we're going to meet up 7 p.m. Central. Um, so we can go ahead and just get it off the chest, chop it up, hear what y'all got to say. I know y'all got a lot to say about everything that's been going on. If you're not a member, hit the join button. Um, what, you, what else you got to say? Nothing. I just, oh, uh, what I was going to say at the end is, um, I feel like Lily of course she admitted it she's been waiting for grams i remember when it first came out that she was um messing with b and even in her video she actually said the reason grams was acting up is because she had found out about b she said i don't know why y'all can't see this that this is this is what's happening so she already knew that you know they were still emotionally going through that cycle that they went through so she already knew it was a possibility i guess i just feel like if you knew it was a possibility you could have still you know did your little sex thing and not got so locked in with somebody that you wasn't ready to be in a relationship with mm -hmm. yeah all right well if y'all enjoyed the reaction um the podcast <laughs> Hit the subscribe button for more. Like the video. We hope to catch y'all next time. Peace. You don't really need a lot of more fish. Cause you know what it is. You know what it should be like. You never need a damn girl. Don't leave